Okay. And Vio was supposed to perform his first big show. But now we're Guess what? Guess what V did? Guess what he did? What did he do? He cried. Oh shame, like. Yeah, la, yeah, la blind. Yeah, hot man, fishy, he hot. I'm a man, I'm a VIP. I'm a man, I'm a man. Plant like okay, but look, I let's show you. Yeah, no. I agree. He thought Plant wanted him. But was there something to that thing? I don't know. I don't know. No, I mean everyone has moved on. You know. I have no idea. I don't know. You know, now I've never known people's. He used to be on the text with her. I mean, yeah, I don't know why I didn't ask him when he was here. He no really believed it. Yeah, it's not too late. <laughs> How did you meet Mampizi? Because it was also in in around that time. Yeah, as well, I, meet, huh? I meet Mampizi in in Saint Joe. Yeah, and uh, Nikhil had boy was Saint Joe. Yeah, so we knew each other because now nah, let's talk to blind. blind. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so home, but he 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 found out I was making music, mm. and I have this specific memory. I don't know how long I'd known him till then. He knocks at my window, Musi Hokabo, but tough, but past tough, like at a really, really awkward time. He wakes me up and he tells me what the hell I've been. It's like, no, we think he's my guy, what, what, what? I don't know what the first thing I've been. How do we start? What, what, what? Do you have, then we, that's when we, we did Pompa Tweety Tweety. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Where's the bombs? <laughs> And at this time, I was doing what... I was scared for him. Because this nigga is running around looking for a, a label. I'd never heard him spit mm. before. So yeah. I was wondering... No, he had never done like, it. Because V was a dancer. Was hey, he was a v dancing. V was the V show dance guy. And uh, what's that dance? Toalata. Toalata. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, no one could kill the Toalata like V. <laughs> <laughs> like, I swear. <laughs> no one... You yeah. know this. I, yeah, know, you I know, know. No one could kill the Toalata like Girls V. Girls would be running after him after assembly. Yeah. Entertainment. So, talk. but he figured... He noticed that... Dancing was a limit. He wanted V na ita tala blow to ta ko bani. Eh na bata na bata ko blow na bata banya na. Yo, 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 what's poppin' everybody? How are you guys doing? Welcome to another edition of the Cast, coming at you straight from Leo's Inn, right here in Gaboroni, around the Middle Star area. Come through, check them out on Facebook, and come through and, uh, you know, have your events over here. If you have friends coming into town, this is the perfect spot for them to come through. You can cook for yourself, you can do all the stuff that you want to do, and you'll be in the heart of Gap City, all right? That's where Pudicast comes at you from every single Wednesday at 3 o'clock. And uh, today, man, is a special day. Uh, it's a um, birthday, heavenly birthday for our homie, uh, Mr. Tabo Ntirang, a.k.a. Mapeta. Happy birthday, uh, Papa. We miss you. And uh, we still all love you. We're all still thinking about you. And uh, yeah, man, continue to rest in peace. Um, yeah. We gotta go on with the show though. In the house, another legendary BW musician uh, is in the house. Shout out to local corner. Hey, Kilibesi Shout out to local. Kilibesi local corner. Shout out to local corner. Remember to like and subscribe the page as well. All right. In the house, we're joined by none other than someone who's worn so many hats. I've known this brother for over twenty something years, and uh, he's worn so many hats. He's model. <laughs> <laughs> rapper, a philanthropist, um, he's an entrepreneur, he's also um, a graduate yeah, political science and um, all about how he's able to wear all of these hats and uh, he's one of the, the mainstays as far as what BW Entertainment is, we've known him for a very very long time, he continues to reinvent himself and uh, today we want to find out where he's at with it how he came to be who he is and what he's currently doing in the house today we're joined by Mr. Tepiso Molapisi, a.k.a. Castalion. What's up, Papa? How are you doing? I'm good. People, yeah. I'm people walking up to you and saying, oh, I thought that was your guy. Why hasn't he called you to the thing? Because <laughs> no, guys, yeah, I get a lot of that. I told them, hey, Mona, he's been calling. Hey, because hey. people get sensitive sometimes. But we thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, you are here in the house. Um, what can you tell us, man? What's new? What you been up to? Bigger my ban. What were you doing yesterday? What were you preparing to be doing this week? Yesterday I was I was like I'm a I'm a 
what's the English word? I'm a, I'm a homebody. I, yeah. I spend a lot of time indoors. I don't really go out a lot. Yeah. Never, it's never been my scene. I'm one of those people that watch a lot of movies. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm a researcher at heart, so I'm always online and yeah. checking out stuff. I'm one of those th- people that's always trying to find out new stuff and better myself. Yeah, Take what I to do least. So, ironically, you're asking, like, this week is very different from the past weeks for me. Yeah. Because I, I had certain plans which I, I had to shelve. Yeah. I was taking a different direction in my personal and professional life. Yeah. Then I decided to not take that direction. Yeah. So, uh, you're, you're meeting a cast who's trying to get back into the music industry, basically. Yeah, so, so, couple on time. Yeah, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I've decided, I, a couple of years back, I unofficially retired. Yeah. yeah. I didn't tell anyone, but I was not, I was still in the music scene, but I, I was not too concerned about releasing music. Even when I released songs, I would just put out stuff and yeah. not really push it. So, um, um, it's a, what, I'm working on my second debut album. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't well, know if that uh, makes sense. No, I yeah, feel you. I'm working on an album, but I want to start with an EP barely. I I wanna I wanna I wanna put out music. I wanna do it one more time. Just see, just see what happens at my age. Yeah. Definitely, because I, I, I you know sometimes people always like to leave music as if it's not like a, a driving beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always and this is why I, even in raps I never say or yo. I I'm back, baby. No. Yeah, yeah, I get I that. never left. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? So I always feel on what and even with the likes of Batata Jessica, the way she's talented, I think I don't think Mutu can stay away from No, no, you can't. You can't. Like that, that, you yeah. cannot break that thing. Yeah. It always stays within you. And, and 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 I feel like if you try and get away from it, yeah. it, it can really corrupt your mindset. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people who try and stay away from it. Yeah. And I feel like Staying away from music can turn you to a hater. Yeah. Looking at other people who are doing it and who are living that dream and, and, and you see yourself in them, but you are not, you feel like you're not able to do it. Yeah. It can li- literally turn you into hating those hating people and, those feel, and, and becoming a pundit and becoming, being one of those people who's always online judging it and yeah. saying, eh, you know, be- yeah, you can become really toxic if you stay away. So, you know, I wasn't leaving it, leaving it, but yeah. I wasn't too concerned about putting out music and consist that kind of consistency but yeah. i want to i want to give it another couple of years and see what happens no doubt i think well since we were, we were talking about the present i think we should take it all the way back as well because yeah. um where, where did you grow up did you grow up in kaburoni did you grow up in madinari um i was born in gabs yeah um marina baby yeah okay i'm one of those yeah. but um in Francis Town. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I'm a ghetto nigga. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I like my first memories when I was fully conscious. Yeah. I was in Francis Town called Mine Stoney. Um Bikahubala one go school and scot the Mahube. Okay. A Mahube kiko somerset. Somerset is like the equivalent of Zola. Okay. You understand? But Nikin Nako Go mine stony, you know, a place it was okay, it was yeah. uh, lower middle class. In ya, now no snamo takasi, in the mantu and IBC, no toka hocho la guanta, I go to the table, twelve that in a patani. Yeah, okay, so there was, you understand yeah. one yeah, of those, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Kurudi like you walk, Yala Honako, some of the So, I grew up in that upbringing. So, you know, I'm not a private school kid by any measure of any word. Yeah. Like, Nakwe, I have memories of my mother going to school and people making fun of her, yeah, because now, you know. In the, it, it was sort of tutor she was doing secretarial courses and yeah. that's how we were able to come to Gabs because she got a job in Gabs. Yeah. So I was in Francis Town, to do my stand for when I moved to Gabs to come stay with her. Yeah. And at that time we were staying with my uncle go New Canada. Okay. New Canada Abu Holo New Canada. Hey, New Canada. New Canada. Okay. Hey, no, it's the same place, but hey. uh, the old house is still in there. Hey. New Canada. 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 New 
I heard about those wars. Hey, there hey. was another one, Kakoji West, the Kaku BKT, and it's the pink in yarn. Those houses that they had in the wall, I think. I always heard about that. Yeah. And then, when that's the worst thing that could ever happen to you. <laughs> you know, hey. what was it? Fiberglass, so it's so thin, it goes into your skin and it itches like no one's business. That's you why. Know, why I, did they build houses? Did you ever find out why? It was they not the house; it was the toilets. Hey, yeah, the toilet, the toilet, then they let you in hell, and they were outdoors, and you were kissing, you were playing around, so you're gonna end up moving or another time getting kitchen or something. You understand? So kitiloko games kita kubala for, and that's when I I just discovered rapping around that time. Okay, and this is how it happened. Nigenali kazinza kabal mokoloing. And uh, Vanilla Ice had dropped music, I think. Yes, all I right, did. stop. Yeah. And and they were rapping it all along. I'd never heard the song in my life. Yeah. They were just reciting lyrics from a, from a paper, and I was just there as quiet as usual. Yeah. And by the time we came back, my I was rapping the whole thing, and they were still trying to learn it. Yeah, it just yeah. stuck in my head. It stuck in the head. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember back in the day, Nikibudua Ice. So that's how I broke the. Uh, that's how I broke cutting uh, eyes like the more gabs. Since get late again, when I was just new, more gabs. I would rap for people, yeah, and they would give me my five tab and stuff like that. And back in there, it was yeah. So I was rapping vanilla ice stuff, yeah. And but I never thought, I never took it as a as a as a thing that I could do professionally, yeah. Simultaneously, my mother was making music. So you could like like I show my mother. My mother's a jazz artist, and okay. she's a she plays acoustic guitar. No doubt. So that was the scene I grew up in, okay. and she and the poor woman did her best to teach me how to sing, <laughs> <laughs> like vocally to sing, sing, yeah, sing. Was sing, sing. Yeah, no, she yeah. did her best because she could sing. So yeah. she figured it was in the genes. You yeah. understand? <laughs> so I think when yeah, no, I couldn't. Hold. I'm 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 really really tone deaf. Yeah. So it, it made it really difficult. And when I discovered rap, I was like, okay, you don't know how to go to Bopalin and Jord. And you can, because I, I had that musical thing about me. Yeah. You understand? It was there. And when I discovered rapping, I was like, oh, at least something I can express myself musically without having to hit notes and all those things. Something that you're comfortable yeah. with. Um, with that, I mean, you, you, how, how then do you move to Bo, Bo Phase 2? When you are when you're singing and rapping at this time, what is going on in your head when you think backwards? What, what did you think? was going to come of it. I, at that time, I didn't think anything at all. Yeah. It, it was up until we moved from, we moved from those Mantuela to be you. Then we moved to New Lady. We moved to New Lady. That's when Kibana Motagasa for the first time. You know, my mother, wow, my, mother, my, mother, my, mother, my mother, my mother, my mother, my mother, my mother bought a 51 centimeter color TV. Yo. Ha. Moving on up. Yeah, ne? yeah. <laughs> 51 centimeter. Then. So it's always been you and your mom. It's always been like my mother's a single mother. Mm-hmm. Like, like she's the only person I know. Yeah. It was always the two of us up until about uh, some of my other cousins. Yeah. But that's that's when we moved from Una Lady to Face to us Nako Bell. So I was one of those people. Yeah. We were the first people to move into the street. Yeah. You know, and I remember. Yeah. Uh, I remember my uncle coming to visit. And telling me, we did that mind. It's like that mind looking. I was like, no, when I let, when I let make them one of the, the thing, one of the, the thing you like, the they, thing you they, like doing, hey, yeah. that rap thing. I'm like, hey, no, I'm like, ah. so yeah. back in the day, you couldn't go online, and you know, yeah. so you, yeah, I was always playing the radio, waiting to hear that mind. Yeah. And I remember the first time I heard that mind, I was, I was, yeah. player for life. Yeah. Yeah, changed my life, and I, I, and I remember I was a fan instantly. Nikebala seven. Yeah. Then Hakebala from one Kilokomosala Pula, they were launching Kodi Super Hall. Yeah. And I begged my mother. And I, I was never a naughty kid. Yeah. I guess I've never given my mother a hard time about yeah. anything. I was never misbehaving. I was doing well in school. Yeah. So Hokopamo, it was I was allowed to go to my first festival, like LA. 13. Yeah. Who did you go with? With Click. Hey. Oh, Cabello. <laughs> okay. Hey, so we, at this time, we were staying with my cousin, Ubu Nahote Cabello. So we went together. I don't, she, my mother dropped us off and we had to find our way back. And I remember it was cold and I had this Shaq t-shirt. I was so proud of the t-shirt so I didn't wear anything warm. You know? <laughs> you know yeah. what I want to find? Oh, is it the third man with the mind like this and then the third? No, no, the, the, the Shaq, yeah. the Shaq t- No, that was a Shaq. I was a baller na kwati nikisa mga basketball. That's I was into basketball. Yeah. But I didn't know I could make music. Yeah. But only with that mind I figured, you know, it the possibility of making music was there. But up until I went to that show, Ramco actually has the video where I'm seen in the crowd. Yeah, I've seen as that a video. kid. Yeah. yeah. In the Galon Chathed mind. That thing changed my mind. I saw Ice Queen. 
I saw Double D, yeah. uh, Duke, and um, Foster Julian. Foster. Yeah. Um, I saw Black. I saw boy, Hoodlums. Yo, that <laughs> night like literally changed my life, and I was like, it was possible to make music more Botswana. I'm trying I, to figure out the scene then, or not at that time, because there really wasn't anyone else rapping. There was Stead Mind, okay? yeah. and there was Wizards. And for the kids out there, I know when I say Wizards, <laughs> you guys think Roomba music, but they yeah. used to rap. And there, there was a rapper within Wizards, no one a guy, a dance hollow. Yeah. Uh, what was the name of the song? Bomb Sangoma Zoom. Sangoma. Sangoma. Hey, hey, hey. I will make many special songs. Yo, buddy, did it, did it, did it. Like a caterpillar or a party. Kind of back in the day, the rhymes, like, I just never understood why guys got on records and they didn't have bars. It was, it was two worlds. It was two worlds. It was two worlds. But the, that was the difference with the Third Mind show. Because yeah. I got to, uh, peace out rappers sounded like American rappers. Yeah. I was like, dude, like, we actually have this moment. We have guys who are legitimately trying to do hip hop the way it's actually done. Yeah. You understand? And um, it was, it was, it changed my whole life. We got home and I told my cousin, listen, this is how it went down. <laughs> I'm Mac Cast. What do you want to call yourself? But it has to start with Mac. And he said, I'm Mac Click. Yeah, and, and you know where the, the name Mac Click comes from? Like if you're down with the click, let me hear you say, I'm down. If you're down with the click, yeah. let me. Aliyah. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, ah, okay, no, cool. So I told him, well, Mac OT. Yeah. Mac OT stands for Microphone Addicted Checkers of Triumph. Why it's kind of thought that? Yeah, back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not okay, like, okay. So, so we, for, so for me, it was a project. I'm, I'm yeah. like that person. Like, I decided, listen, we're going to get rhyme books. We're going to start home. And I found out, like, a few days later, that Ice Queen actually stays in my face, too. Hey, and I seen her rap go. I was like, are you serious? And I found Ice Queen. I just literally went to her house and walked, knocked at the door mm -hmm. and told her, listen, we want to we wanna rap. She was like, you know, where is this ambition coming from? Can I, be I have no idea. A lot of people that don't know you, and I'm really trying to keep my mouth shut because my girlfriend says when I know someone in the interview, <laughs> and I tell the story, yeah. but like I'm really learning something here in that like you've always had that type of ambition of like structural shit, like get shit done. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you, yeah. you left the show, realized this is possible, and now you're going over to, to Ice Queen's house to say what? Dude, I literally knocked on the door and told her, listen, uh, Mac Cast, Mac Click, Mac OT, we're trying to get into music. How can you help us? And then she was like, are you guys serious? She's like, come back in two days. We, we showed up. She's like, you guys are serious. Mm. She's like, okay, dude, the next time you guys come, thank God you notebook. I think, I think she was trying to discourage us a yeah. little bit. Yeah. But at the same time, it helped. So Ice Queen literally got us to get notebooks and she sat down with us and would talk about hip hop and say, whatever you think you're not going to remember, put it down. We, we spoke, we literally, she, would, we, she, would, she explained to me what is hip-hop, you know? Yeah. Hey, what's the difference, what's, what, what's the difference between what's rap, yeah. you know, what's a bar, yeah. what's all those things, you understand? Jeez. And she, and I remember we spent time with her and would be writing lyrics and she, she would teach us how to arrange them and at some point she was like, I'm going to take you guys to Peaside, I'm going to take you guys to Meet Sid. Mm -hmm. Dude, that was like us going to Disney that day. Like from the, Sid was on the radio. DJ yeah, Sid yeah, was on the radio. No, DJ the time. Sid was on the radio. DJ Sid was the funk master. He yeah. was probably the, one of the biggest DJs in the country at the time. Yeah. I have this memory of being Gomesala Pula and seeing some hip hop competition that we entered being advertised with his face on it. Yeah. And I think I cut it out and put it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like for me, it was he was like, you know, and, and it speaks to us as a country, the fact that if you look at Sid's profile, yeah. it's so legendary, but most kids don't even know who he is. Yeah. And those who know who he is know him from my star. Yeah. And it's a shame. Yeah. It's yeah. a shame that we, we don't have legacy Simula yeah. Hassan. You know, it's, it's, it just disappears like that. You understand? And there's no way to even go. You can't even Google him and find that information. Yeah. You can't yeah. find the thing I'm talking about. You can't find the fact that he's judged. In 1998, he was judging a hip-hop competition that yeah. cast won. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. We don't have that legacy, and it breaks my heart. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, with, with, the, with the lyrics, because at, at Mosala Pula now, this is when now you're going to P-Side and being able to meet all of these yeah, guys yeah, yeah. and stuff. So what was the setup at P-Side when you got there? Because all I remember was that there was a bunch of niggas Blind, the blind, it says house and a lot of music used to happen. When you're walking in there as a from two, from one student. Yeah, from one student. What yeah. do you see? 
Um, so we, we live with Ice Queen and it's, it's a lot of drama. Kind of Ice Queen is <laughs> over the top. I love her to death, but yeah. she, you know, I remember she, and everyone was stationing and we thought, yo, Ice Queen, yo, yeah. my people, what taxi guy, we got a special taxi, which I think she didn't even pay for. Jeez. We get there, we find, um, Sid, yeah. Asimula, Atrista, his dread. Yeah. It was still small, <laughs> he's just there and he was just aloof and uninterested. And I screwed them all. No, these are my guys, but what they want to rap. I want them, they prepared something for you. And at this time, we are with a guy called Sukwat. I don't know if you remember Sukwat. Refilo. Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. Refilo. Refilo yeah. for like <laughs> a couple of months, he was part of Mac OT. Rest in peace to yeah, the home. Yeah, man. rest in peace to, to, to Sukwat, to my guy. Mm. Um, as Queen decided that at some point that we needed someone who knows how to sing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The singing comes back again. So, I, so, so the guy. Cut the man. Uh, click could hold a note, yeah. and uh, and le, 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 yeah. So the plan was, they do the hook, mm. and I do the verse. Okay. For for Sid, so we're there, and Sid is just there <laughs> twisting his dread and <laughs> listening and saying, yeah, no, yeah, sure, sure. So this guy starts singing and they're off tune and it's not sounding nice, and I start panicking. I panic hard. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm still panicking, these guys are done with the hook. It's time for you to rap. It's time, yeah, and I'm there just grasping at straws and freestyling the mm. best I could. And we stop, and he's like, he turns to us and he's like, and he looks back and does whatever. And Ice Queen starts talking to us and takes us to the studio. And yeah, mm. it was not really a studio, it was where he had his decks, and there was a bunch of that room. The LPs and stuff. Yeah. Um, then we leave, and I was dog. That day was like one of the worst days of my life. I just felt like, hey, it's a king. Opportunity key. And it's all just, hey, No, blind, the blind. Like, we had like, hey, dog, it was really bad. But she was, she was encouraging. She was like, no, no, it was mm. really good. I liked the fact that you improvised and you were, you know, she was just making, she just yeah. gave us, yeah, she. And then that's when we saw the competition. There was a grand hip hop, something like grand hip hop something. Yeah. And we and it, the auditions were in um, what's that mall? The African mall. Hey. Hey, how would, that building I fled thing. And, and I remember there was a bunch of people. Mm. We queued for hours until we did our audition, and we killed it. Like we killed that audition. Yeah. And I think if we had not done what we did with with Sid, we would have never killed that audition. It got you ready. Hey, you know, it got us ready. We yeah. were prepared. We and it was just me and Click Now. I think we killed it hard. Yeah. And we made it to the to the final and. We won the the 1998 competition, Damn. and it was supposed to come with a deal. We're given a beat. I remember this beat. I was, <laughs> ironically, the rapper I am now and the artist I am now yeah. was a very different person from that cat. because yeah. I was a hip hop purist yeah. then. Yeah. Which will have, it's another conversation, but I, I I believed in rapping in English and beats that sounded like they were hip hop beats. Yeah. And these guys gave us a hip hop beat which sounded which had a lot of Afrocentric elements from my from my For your taste. The, yeah. And I just didn't like it. And I, we, dude, who I, made it? Do you remember who made the beat? I don't even remember. Who is the deal supposed to be coming from? Dude, what is it going? It's a shame because it's a guy I still know to this day. But I forgot what the collective was called. Yeah. But there's an interesting story to this beat. Yeah. Um, we turned down the beat and yeah. later on we turned down the deal. I tell Click, well, listen, dog, mm. these guys don't look legit. I feel like on my own, we could do better. You yeah. understand? Let's just not take the deal at all. Yeah. And um, a few months later, uh, Crucifix drops a track. Oh, Lord. And it's that same beat. And it's, it's, it, it blows up, actually. Mm. You remember it blew up? Are you in this with me? Yeah, yeah I'm in this with you. Yeah. yeah regularly. Uh, I know. <laughs> I, I remember all of them because that's what that was the only way you could remember stuff because how know really record it. And but you know what this guy, hmm. Bizarre. Yeah. I think he's the voiceover artist. He yeah, is yeah, I super know. sport. Oh no, no, I don't know a super sport, but he was he was doing voiceover channel. Hey, 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 oh, hey, hey, oh. Every time I hear that voice, I remember when he dissed all of us. I don't, I don't watch sports, so I would hey, he, he, yeah. he, he still voices on oh, okay. and South Africa. And I think I saw him on another track as well because he ended up moving to South Africa. So, what, what does the name cast mean? Okay, cast is it basically means it's magic. It's like I cast spells with my lyrics, yeah. it's like casting spells. Yeah. That's why my first album was called The Cast. Yeah. You okay. How do our paths cross? So, um, I'm in Musala Abula. 
So by this time, people knew I rapped. Mm. I I'd done a couple of V shows, and it was a rare thing to to rap back in my time. Like was, I really don't think people understand because even then, how we already deal here and how we already deal. None of us really thought yeah. none of this was possible. I was already disinterested because a lot of the rappers were stickity mag, biggity tickety tack, figgity back, or what thing. I wish I was a bed that I'll fly to your place. I'll never forget this lyric because it 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 pissed me off so so much. So it, I was always like, yeah. okay, are these guys serious? And then, you know, f- that's why sometimes you memorize a lot of other people's lyrics because yeah. I, I really couldn't understand what... And all respect to Laws of the Ghetto, mm. all respect to Wizards, I just wasn't getting it. No, no, Lynn, actually, when I think you're, you're mm. worse than me, I, to an extent, I could say, okay, no, we're, we're starting there. But mm. obviously, I... You know, I I love I love like PP is my guy and so <laughs> bo, 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 okay, my, who my who was part of Liverpool Dogs. Oh like I despised Liverpool Dogs because I just felt like they were at the time. Hey, you hey. understand? <laughs> no. They hey. weren't making sense. No, hey, no see, and, and it made it made hip hop as a genre locally like so it, people couldn't take it seriously. Mm. Well, anyway, I so as soon as people do, I I, I was in class with a guy called Jitag. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't know where how had you guys. Get to do another phase four. Hey, hey, I don't know. He was in school. Home. He comes to me. He tells me, "Hey, man, I don't know. my damn man. I'm blind. The blind. So it was G. It was. Hey, it was G. Like hey, it was how Okay. He comes to me. We're doing what from two. No, rather from one. No, rather from one. You guys hey. went from three. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah. so he comes to me. He's like, ah, no, when I'm like them, one about blind, they go hear them out and homo. And for me, what people didn't understand is, as soon as I, 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 I came up with with um, Mako T, I was already behaving like a record label. Yeah. yeah but an amateur record label without anything. But I was my head space was. I was like, okay, let me go hit, hear them out. Yeah. He was insisting we met at the outdoor. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. You guys spit for me. Yeah. In the LA, Foxy, yeah. where now nah, smoothie ice. ice, yeah, you know, and basically, uh, basically yeah. what I did with you guys yeah. was the same thing Ice Queen did with me, yeah, because uh, in the on a template. So, um, for for God knows how long we are meeting. I'm telling you something you know, so it's weird for me. <laughs> <laughs> so let me talk to the camera. For so for the longest, I was meeting Lebo Scar. Uh, they were called VOT. At the back of my house, and my mother, my mother, because she was in the music space, I think she was really accepting. You understand? Yeah. Would meet there, would 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 would. I'll give them assignments. You understand? He give us topics. Like this nigga will give you like, I think there will be ten topics, and then you have to write rhymes to those topics, and then we split them on Fridays, and then everything from HIV to girlfriends. Yeah, yeah. To I remember, to I remember, battling. I remember one specific one where I told you guys to write as if you are a mic. Hey, and, 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 and that and one was hard. Yeah. That shit was but you hard. killed it. But you killed it. I stayed on it, but yeah. I really like. Okay, if anything, I think that's what made me a better. Writer. You know, you know what the impression I got from you was, yeah. and the same thing I tell people to this day. Yeah, you understand the power you have, ne? Yeah. With the delivery and the the voice you have, I keep telling people that Sky is one of those rappers who's blessed enough. Yeah. Even with the simplest lyrics, he could yeah. sound. He sounds like he has that authority behind his voice. Because no I heard it when he was ripping someone else's verse. Yeah, you're spitting Mr. Uh, 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 Mr. Chicks' verse. Yeah. Well, like voice. the authority and the the enunciation and the way you just did it was like, ow. <laughs> and you have been told to help him. You have been told to sell idea, but you're like, ah. Yeah. Listen to this cat. You understand? And some powerful stuff. Uh, right Fox there. was a storyteller. Yeah. yeah. Very Still difficult, is. very difficult guy. Kind of for those who don't know, Fox, yeah. Yarn FM, morning yeah. show host. We were in a group together called VOT. And um, yeah, well, we, we went to the talent show with mm. you. We walked to Village or some shit like that. I don't know if it was Village. This is what happens. So 1998, we won that competition I was speaking about. 1999, and we are Max Squad. All of us were together as a, as a collective, we were a mech squad. And we entered, there was another competition in 1999. Mm. So we entered that. And I remember when we were getting ready for it, remember what we said? No. We said we're competing for number one. Yeah, man. The, the VOT and mech OT. Yeah, and we went there and we're number one and number two. No doubt. In 1999. 
And this guy had been rapping for like a couple of months. <laughs> you understand? And, 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 and it was amazing. For me, whenever I speak about you guys, where now your Vs, your MSKs, mm. for me, it's not like, I, I don't feel like I did anything for anyone. Mm. It was like such a, an amazing learning thing. You understand? Like I'll be learning stuff from you guys while I'm, I'm doing these things. But even in that time yeah. though, because I'm trying to get your mindset in that, horror. we're talking about a kid at junior high school. Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. How old is your boy right now? He's 15. Do you see him doing this? No, look at the camera. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> it. no, 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 now that you put it that way, actually, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I was doing. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, how did you meet Mampizi? Because it was also in, in around that time. Yeah, as I, well, meet, like? I meet Mampizi in, in St. Joe. Yeah. And uh, Nikhil had boy was St. Joe. Yeah. So we knew each other because now nah, let's talk to blind. blind. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so <laughs> oh, my, but he. he he found out I was making music. Mm. And I have this specific memory. I don't know how long I'd known him to tell then. He knocks at my window. Like at a really, really awkward time. He wakes me up and he tells me what the... It's like, no, I don't know what the first thing is. How do we start? What, what, what? Do you have, then we, that's when we, we did Pompa Tzuditsuidi. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Where's the bombs? And at this time, I was doing what? I was scared for him because this nigga is running around looking for a, a label. I'd never heard him spit mm. before. Yeah. So I was wondering. No, he had what never done it because like, V was a dancer. Was hey, was hey, v dancing. was the V show dance guy. And uh, what's that dance? Toilata. Toilata. Yeah, yeah. Like no one could kill the Toilata like V. <laughs> <laughs> like I swear. <laughs> no one, you yeah. know this. I, yeah, know, you I know. know. No one could kill the Toilata like Girls V. Girls would be running after him after assembly. Yeah. Entertainment. So, but he figured, he noticed that dancing was a limit. He wanted. V. Naitata la blue to the net. Eh, Nabata. Nabata ho blue. Nabata banya. So, ultimately, when you guys sit down and write the song, eno raring, is it. What is he thinking he's going to do? What, how did you end up becoming his manager and able to even write music with him? Like, how did that relationship start off? Because you're one of the few people who, who I think saw him when he was really trying to get into it. Yeah. And you also showed him a, a little bit of how to do it. So what did you see in him that made you feel like, yo, I can work with this guy? No, initially, to tell you the truth, I didn't see anything. Yeah. I just knew he could dance and perform. He had a stage presence. Yeah. And he literally took me by by the hand and say, listen, what I want to learn how to write the fundamentals and I taught. And it was like one of those things where, okay, no, I'm sitting down with this guy to teach him how to write. Yeah. And he would keep coming back. Yeah. And he would keep coming back and saying, no, let's do this. Can we do this? Can we do this? So we, it ended up being one of those things. It was just, he was always around. Nah, yeah. nah, how feeling? Nah. Yeah. And we, we did that song and I remember um, the beat was made but it, we couldn't access it. The file was funny. Yeah. So, because now I talk about first town, go go KZ. KZ is a local artist, like a phenomenal vocalist guy. Uh, his background, I think he started singing in the church and he's, he makes music. Yeah. yeah. Um, KZ made him the beat. We couldn't access it, so we went to Daggy Digital Studios so he mm. could reproduce it. Yeah. And finally record it. And I just took on the role of manager and 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 co-writer. Yeah. Because yeah, I was what what people don't know about me. Ironically, <laughs> let me like and listen. Um, like the way I make my music, ne? yeah. I when I dropped my album, you dropped before me, yeah. Stagger was out, and I initially I was rapping straight yeah. in English, yeah. and I decided to do Mutuako because I noticed I think managing V and working with other people from different genres, I was like, Batwana, I felt like Batwana react to music differently. They don't have a genre. They just want something they can sing along to. Yeah. So I decided I'm going to make sing-along music. Yeah. And I'm going to do it in Setswana. And, and I remember you're one of the people who didn't really like that. This nigga yeah. wanted to rap in Setswana. Like, yeah. I don't want my people who are going to give me a hand. I really yeah. didn't want to mess with it. Huh? Yeah. So, I'm blind. <laughs> Not only him, like Carl. Carl was like, yeah. Carl was saying, no, no, I'm going to go sharp. I'm going to go sharp. I'm going to go to hell. 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 You understand? So it was, it was, I think, managing V, I decided to, I don't even know how I was going with this Citroen thing. Mm. But I think, oh yeah, I was trying to make a point. Mm. So I became very, 
well versed in writing music in different languages and doing different genres. Yeah. And but because I simplified, I looked at it th this way. Hip hop was such a version uh, genre. Mm. Uh, people, you'd go to places where people didn't even know it was called hip hop. Yeah. You know, I used to be compared to genuine mm. because of my stuff. <laughs> you understand? Because they didn't know what to call the, the genre. Yeah. So for me, I felt like, listen, I, I'm going to make music as if I'm educating people about hip hop. Yeah. So, how you How you steak? Steak is someone at the blind. So this was my philosophy. This is my philosophy. Yeah. How one alone money yan? Omo just a baby food. Yeah. The light stuff. Yeah, the me. simple stuff. Yeah. So I watered down my music. Yeah. Kekabo, I wanted to make the kind of music that I used to tell people what that pinaga I didn't want to hip hop heads. Yeah. I was not trying to target the hip hop heads. And you guys had cornered the hip hop market. I don't want to lie to you. I just felt like Sky and, and, and was like the guys who were out at mm. the time. I wanted to come out very, very differently. So you think I, that was detrimental, eh, though, eh. to, to the, 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 how people then talk about how your music comes out? Because now they start making the, the perception, because yeah, yeah. that's the first thing that you heard. Yeah. 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 It, it was it was a gift and a curse. It was a gift initially, yeah. but I understand. But it 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 people would go and comment and talk about me in the sense that, yeah. and I'm thinking like, do these guys know how many songs I've written? Like how many local songs I've written from all across genres? No doubt. Because that's what I do. So I think the way the the music uh, the, the the brand of cast mm -hmm. as a rapper is very different from the hip hop head cast. Yeah. No, I you know understand? that much. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. And I I think I still struggle with that. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I cater to to different audiences. When I do a Mutwako song with maybe that quiet feel to it. That people that like it and it pisses off other people audiences. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I dropped Poco. Yeah. Poco is a boom bap song. I love that song. Hey, and people like you love yeah, that song. Yeah. But I, as once there was one specific comment that summarized how certain people felt about it. Well, hey, we didn't like Hestay or whether like Kile Man. So 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 so, so, hey, so I think I cater. I don't cater to one specific audience that it fragments the audiences yeah, yeah. and I don't have people who who come out gunning for me. You understand? Yeah, yeah. I don't have like that core core audience. I have people who love me and who love what I represent as an individual. Yeah. But in terms of the music, I feel like I've not built a core audience. Yeah. I'm just too pop. I don't know if that makes sense. I, I know what you mean because yeah. when it started, no, it's not about out of Khaburone that would come out to, to, to these hip hop shows until you started doing shows also outside. Mm. And I, I got to witness it myself, how mm. people react to your music outside of Khaburone. Mm. You know what I mean? And is that what kept you going? Or no, it you is. saw the love outside, so you didn't care about gaps? Dude, I was outperforming like the most commercial guys on stage. Yeah, you know, I, I was the, I would be the only hip hop cat. Yeah. You understand? So it was. A bigger audience, yeah. but it, it it sort of sacrificed the hip hop image that was there. But you know, don't get it twisted, man. I'll eat an MC anytime. <laughs> Pause. Like like, uh, <laughs> like like for me, I've always said, I've always like, I always wished because it all it would always happen. I remember being in Francis Town, go BDF camp, boom. Now because I'm over in Dukato, you understand? Yeah. And there was this rapper who was like, "Yo, you wanna battle?" Like and I that. never do. And yeah. I was this day, I was like, "It's the most cool level." When the guy who was spitting with me at the advice you are giving to the other you know, I wonder the way Kesti can I basically get there. Can I not been telling you? Well, this is, you understand? Yeah, so I would yeah. enjoy doing stuff like that. I enjoy rapping and like the core essence of what the the the, the industry is. But yeah, but I'm also a musician at the end of the day. In your head, I think since we are already here, mm. don't do you feel that sacrifice to commercialize hip hop in Botswana? Um, people don't give you enough credit for it. Get out in your little corner. How blow me over. You know the sacrifice that I had to do for my my quality, just so it's palatable for yeah. the rest of the country. Now niggas is eating steak now. Yeah. You know because you the one who gave them because the I gave them the, the baby food. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as you, you know how to walk, you kick the walker to the corner. Yeah. You know, and then and I feel like that. Yeah. But I feel like it was worth it because I feel like. Hip hop, man. I feel like hip hop is such an amazing genre. From the birth of hip hop, hip hop has never been as solid. It's always been really fluid. Yeah. It's always hip hop kind of started as DJs playing breaks yeah. of other genres. Yeah. Literally, they'll play drums 
of other genres, then they'll take other elements from other genres yeah. and create a genre. Mm. So it was created that way. So for me, I feel like I was continued within the legacy of what hip hop is mm. by adding a different language, by adding my my core language. People in the in the in the hoods. Mm. People in Compton don't sound like people uptown. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, and so in okay. Nago Phase 2, we are Setswana, and I integrated with Afrocentric elements, which are familiar to people who don't know what hip-hop is. Yeah. So at the core of it, we could argue all day, and I'll tell you what, mine is more hip-hop than that, that boom-bap, uh, American twang-sounding thing you're doing. Definitely. It, it keeps to what hip-hop is, yeah. you understand, by integrating different elements. That's why hip-hop can fuse with gospel. Je- hip-hop is one of those genres yeah. that yeah. will literally never die. It will just keep evolving and changing. Yeah. And it's a good thing, you understand. Yeah. We don't want everyone sounding like Rakim. Mm. We need Will Smith in the game. Yeah. You understand? Feel that we don't want good. everyone sounding like Nas. Mm. We need... Um, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy in the game, you yeah. understand? Because yeah. that's how the industry keeps going and evolving and stay interesting. If mm. everyone was sounding like gangsta and no se you understand? Yeah, yeah. So that's why I love the genre. I'm one of those people that would listen to anything. So the the P side compilation, you did you have a, a, a solo track on there or were you recording? It was Mac OT. It was Mac OT's. Yeah. I didn't understand what was going on there. I've always wanted to ask someone who was there also. Yeah. Now in hindsight, because like I think what do you think P-Side was? P-Side was a collective, a collective of rappers. I think initially they were trying to use the wu Tang model. Yeah. But... Um, you think they had intentions of signing us? And releasing music? I don't know, eh? Because what I remember about when we recorded that album, and this is not to, to, you know, to throw dirt on anyone's name. I'm just older, and I just see things different now, you mm. know? It was just a bunch of kids um, in there who love rapping, and then this product was made, and no one ever talked about splits. No one ever talked about mm. how we're going to um, get these young people who are here every day, given their talents away, you know, we're going to build them in any way. So I think that's why ultimately a lot of us never looked back to mm. try and help out with what's going on there. Because when I think about it more, it becomes shady. Yeah, no, I, I've never thought of it in that way. For me, I've always, and I, but I understand what you what yeah. you mean though. Yeah. When you think of it from a business point p- perspective and what we had created and how old and we the, were, and the fact that people don't understand, peace had influenced your squad at camps. You understand? I I remember going to I was nineteen years old and I went to SA to the uh, Sprite Rep Activity Jam. Yeah. We had guests at the Sprite Rep Activity Jam. Yeah. And when we got there, we did some rapping and we signed some autographs. And amongst the people we signed autographs and who bought CDs mm-hmm. was Squatter Camp. Yeah. They were part of the Sprite Rep Activity Jam. Yeah. Listen to if you had had Squatter Camp before they listened to that compilation, yeah. Squatter Camp totally changed after the compilation. Yeah. That beats and everything were just inspired by Press Beats and the way he did his beats. Yeah. That rapping was inspired by. A lot of the rappers on that compilation you understand so that project had a big impact i think so for me i think i've always been nostalgic and emotional about it and never thought of, of it that from way. a business point of view mm. and but but i i but I, I get what you're saying it could have been and if if it, the approach was that it could have been something bigger yeah so for me it was just training wheels it was because i'm it leads me to why you didn't record your single with with p side yeah. and you ultimately released it with joe morris another interesting story yeah mm. While I was at P-Side... I, thing for those who... Yeah. While I was at P-Side, I don't know, people don't know this, mm. but I don't know if you remember, there was a period of time for some months I was part of Ghetto Flavor. I know, we talked about it with Brando. Uh-huh. I didn't read the message. I told Brando, we were so happy, we were like, our nigga has made it. <laughs> you had that little photo, in that photo, and uh-huh. they didn't show us the photo, we were like, ah, yeah. we've made it. And part of the reason, happy. part of the reason it did not work with Ghetto Flavor was... The beat selection was like, <laughs> <laughs> like oh lord. <laughs> yeah, no, it was the, no the beat is age hey, beats that thing when I was just up tempo and house. But you're also a dancer. Okay, where does the dancing come in all of uh, this? Hey, that's okay, yeah. Hey. So um I'm your typical eighties kid. Hey. <laughs> My heroes were Michael Jackson and and I, I was there around the times of MC Hammer. Mm-hmm. So dance was always a big part of that age. Like mm-hmm. Vanilla Ice and Ice. You know, Rubina was like homo. So Pac danced, nigga. Hey, Pac was a dancer <laughs> for what the digital underground. Digital underground, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> yeah, and you were, you kind of people don't know that Pac went to art school. Yeah. yeah so part of his set electives was Bobele. Yeah. And I been on his tippy toes. <laughs> you understand? Still a thug. <laughs> you, you understand? 
So, um, so that's how you got into it. So how, you incorporated it into your performances. Um, and I think that was also because, like you say, we and that had pissed to... off guys. Hey, that pissed off guys. Yay! But you never cared about that stuff. No, though. I never did. I never did. All right, I want to get into the. You're, you're not gonna guess. You're not gonna guess who stopped me from dancing, but we'll discuss it. Is it Carl? No, it wasn't. Who was it? Some short, short young lady. <laughs> who your lady? <laughs> anyway. Ah, because you had your shirt off. No, 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 <laughs> no. But th- this is recent. Back <laughs> then, she did not care. <laughs> but now she thinks I'm just too big to me. She's like, she's like, yo. No, and this is how she says she's like, yo, my nigga, you're just you're too you're too buff too. Like, no, it, it just doesn't you look right. It does not look right. I feel like I feel like I could just I still could kill it though. These niggas, <laughs> I know we sort of you'll be on stage with these niggas and all of a sudden shirts are off. Well, let no one knows you with your fat ass, skin to high a pen t-shirt. Let me explain something to you. MS1 puts this nigga is up. What the f- For me, I always start like you need to give people a show. Like, I feel like people should not feel like they're listening to a CD yeah. when you perform. And for me, I it was always an advantage for us because at the end of the day, the audiences, the audience, 10%, 20% of them are hip-hop heads. Most are just people who just come yeah. to, because there's something. And the, even with the with the hip-hop competitions, we always had, would not do choreography, yeah. but we, Nali Click would have, would know at every part of the song was where he's standing, where I'm standing, yeah. where are we moving together like this. It was always really, really coordinated and yeah. our stage presence would captivate people because of that. Yeah. So for me, it was, I was com- people need to understand, I was competing with Franco. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. I had to put on a show, like yeah. a show, 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 show. And I was talking to MSK recently and I hey dog, is it game when I got like it's like against her, but imagine if someone gets a video of me dancing behind you. <laughs> Some people don't remember MS was your hype man, and but at the same time, you guys had those moves though. No, he, yeah, he had to dance. I told him dog. We had <laughs> <laughs> no, we be no blind. One of the camera be too stunning. He saw on a good day. But I told him, "Cause the, the, the time we did that, they look oh, uh, what's this thing called? My African Dream. Yeah. That then, and and it was captured for sure. They say DVD. There's somewhere out when there. When I did DVD, I got MSK Musako. I just ever blind. Hey, getting down. Oh my goodness. Hey, and it, and it was used on the intro of BTV too for some for for a period of time. Oh okay. Yeah. So what about the footage you on it? Footage you on it? How I come back to it? Come What about the pageantry? How how who told you you were pretty? <laughs> Wait, sure. Every year this nigga is in a competition. The first time. And, 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 and you know what the thing is? We are a rap crew. I remember when you went to spread rap activity gem, someone jumped on the mic and said, said, no, no. No matako radu poor, maybe you won't like Because like you pushed it, because you were Mr. Mosala Pula. You were Mr. Sandro. You went you were a finalist in Mr. Botswana. Can I can I tell can I tell you something? The first pageant I entered, I was pushed into it. I was very uncomfortable. Yeah. Like in the 80s, right? Mm. Hypermasculinity was on another <laughs> level. Go <laughs> if you think that people are back in the 80s. So I remember when I being pushed. Kind of in school, you be pushed to the point that a teacher would tell you, hey, ya wo rata. Ya wo rata man. Hey, man. Man. And you'd feel bad. And I remember <laughs> doing it. And I did, I wasn't Mr. Musalabu. Oh, you didn't? Hey, I entered it and I was I was very reluctant. I did mm. not like, I didn't want to do it. That, you, that, were, that, you were long jumping guy. Hey, I was an athlete. I was... Everything, dog. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was one of those. <laughs> anyway, Every so I was forced thing. into this thing. Eh? Because I'm still like playing sabotage. Yeah. And after sabotaging it, I felt bad. I felt like, because I don't, I don't like losing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hate losing. I was like, ah. Yeah. Next time I tell you lose, you say, but I don't like losing. Yeah. So, so I did, Mister, Mister Saint Joe. Yeah. And and I won that. Was that organized by Zen? The, the, it was not Zen. She was part of a entertainment committee, not an entertainment committee, which I later joined. Lynn. Oh, okay. Musala, I think Saint Joe was ahead of his time. We had an entertainment committee that did a, brought a whole year of NFM. Kind of the judges, I'm saying, Mister Saint Joe, they bo 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 be sao, bo lose boy, bo what the what the and it's like the it was yeah. it, it was wild. So I won that, and for me, it it made sense. Like. I started seeing the art in it. Mm. I know people just see what gets happened. No, I started seeing because... <laughs> no, <laughs> since, 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 <laughs> no, you got to break it down to me because I thought it was an obsession. No, it was not an obsession yeah. and, and, and it had nothing to do with looks. Okay. Like, there's nothing scarier than... You can... St- like, I know people who... I'll, I'll tell you, jumping on stage is scary, mm. but there's nothing scarier than doing a pageant. 
walking and being looked at. I did it once, but standing for. Eh, that's why we are here now. Manila plate, konzo. So, 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 it's one of those things. <laughs> you need to be really confident to do it. Yeah. Yeah. You need to be comfortable because it shows how uncomfortable you want to go. You understand? Yeah. And and learning that and getting over that fear, for me, getting over any fear is always a plus. And being able to speak in front of people was a plus. Because yeah. what people don't understand is yeah. and for me, it's ironic, but I, I record music. Mm. I, I'm a motivational speaker. I'm a life coach. I, I do stuff that requires speech. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And for me, it's always about facing that fear and being uncomfortable. Yeah. And you are asked a question at a pageant and you need to make sense and you need to not go, yeah, can I get? <laughs> to shoot. Uh, you know, can I, uh, <laughs> when yeah. you judge a pageant, that's how you measure how nervous, the person or, uh, how, the, how the octaves, yeah. uh, keeping your cool under pressure and all those things. Like it, 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 it Gives character yeah. and being comfortable with your your masculine energy yeah. and uh, you understand yes, and because uh, you do that in front of a video how you then video you do that in front of an audience and you, how you engage people yeah. so for me it helped so I did that and because I thought I thought I was done yeah I do my first day and I go 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 UB and I'm just minding my business go UB I'm just there <laughs> I didn't even know that was Mr UB yeah and the owner. Uh, rest in peace. Mm. She was Miss Saint Jo at the same time as Mr. Saint Jo. Okay. And now that was an L. Yeah. <laughs> when doing this, I'm like, ah, no, 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 no. Yeah. She had to come a couple of times to convince me. Um, Hakizwa will at Alebense in the bank of somehow, but I ended up doing it. Just a pretty connection, hello. Eh? Like, just pretty there. <laughs> and I, and I, I was, I was, I was Mr. UB 2001. Yeah. A first, get the first D. Then same year I entered uh, model of the year. I was model of the year two thousand and one. And there was some church thing which I was called last minute. Was na what tayala mungo what the ke 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 because I remember you were, you were booked into some lodge or something. I'll post a picture. I'll post, after this podcast, I'll post a picture of Mr. Botswana. Mm. Dude, we're booked onto a lodge. We Dude, like it was a whole thing with... Yago phase two, yeah. Next time, why are you being booked in that one? Because... So the organizers didn't have... Did it happen? Did that Mr. It did not happen. It didn't happen, huh? It was supposed to... Hey, dude, it, not, it didn't happen. And... I got to go to BC, you know? Yeah. Like, we're, we're working hard for that thing, but it never worked out, never panned out. I want to, I, I want to understand, Honor, because I don't think you did answer it, Honor. When you started your KEP, I mm-hmm. remember when you were buying, like, I think it was, what was it, Zulugu UB, when you got that computer. I'll never forget, a Microsoft XP. Mm-hmm. And before then, we had been making some beats at, like, Mampi's um, mom's uh, thing. We would, would get into... My pieces, mom's bedroom. <laughs> there was a little small room there, yeah, and, no, no, and no, we'd no. make bees. Raba, 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 spanning hell. And we go, we go, <laughs> Fruit Loops ones for all the youngest. I think Fruit Loops is up to twenty something yeah, now. Yeah. Were you on Fruit Loops one making beats? Then yeah, finally, my mother got me a, 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 a PC. Then I started making beats. Yeah, I think I only stopped making beats because my stuff crashed and I was crushed. Yeah, uh, but I was making beats for a long time, and we continued. KEP was registered Kebala from five. Damn dog. Yeah, I registered a company record label and I was doing it because Nagwa thing I had entered. Uh, I was I was part of the entertainment committee at St. Joe. So yeah. we were organizing events at St. Joe, all of those things. I guess I go from Fire for me. I would come to St. Joe because I had a club with St. Joe. We do a modeling, dance, and music club. Okay. Uh, which I was pushing and helping guys out while I was going to be at the same time. I'm so. I'm- your Nikki EP, because I'm really trying to figure out one or why didn't you record music at P-Side? Why didn't they sign you? I don't know. For me, I, I don't think I ever expected to be signed at okay. P-Side. Because I, I I started working with V. Managing, while I was managing V, I was learning a lot. Okay. I was like a student of the game. Uh, I linked up. I met Diego. Diego and Namuhudi Lin. Yeah. Yes, sir. So Diego knew I was managing V. Then we discussed a video... Yeah. Then we shot uh, Pompatsu Ditsu Dikota Amunkakwa. 
Um, then Diego wanted to sign V. Yeah. Um, can you discussion with Zaha Diego? I just, I was doing first Diego, you can get, okay, somewhere there. Yeah. It, that's not important. He was probably still in, in year one, though. Yeah. yeah. From, from four, from yeah. five. Or I was about to go to UB. Mm. I don't think I'd already gone to UB. Yeah. The discussion that thing, and these are just my personal feelings. I don't, th- I don't think V even knows this, but I got the impression that he wanted to get signed. Mm. He wanted me to stick around and manage in Homo. Mm. But in terms of the splits and the understanding, there was no, it was no Sawi. I was not like, oh, well, I was no. Uh, if we we sign you with Ale Kester and Kester and what's our young, what does what happens to Kester? Yeah. I feel like he could not. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what then? Who I think for me to stop, I felt bad. Yeah. Now what then to not feel bad? I, I literally stepped back. I told him, listen, sign. I don't don't include me more more dealing. You understand? Because yeah, yeah. I'm going to do my first year and I want to focus on schooling and and who I will not even have time. I no 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 not like no but don't worry we like that. Yeah. As Salaka, I'll continue to do all the paperwork and all yeah. the home because I'd learned how to do the administrative part of, of the music business. So I was yeah. like, I'll continue doing all those. You know, if you want to co-write something, I'll be there. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be an unofficial. And for me, I felt like it made me, it felt better for me. And during that time, I was, before Yako Yubi, yeah. I was doing production. I was a production assistant for yeah. FM. Yeah. Um, so... I remember I made sure Bomba Tuzuzu was playing a radio on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Inside man. No, nigga, like piece of blind because yeah. when when Luzbe would go on, like, hey, I'm loading Bomba Tuzuzu. I think nigga, like piece of blind. You yeah. know what I mean? Hey, and I was, I was doing some work more, more showing I had Luzbe as a production assistant. So, it so gave me. how then do I get the deal I got Diego? Hey, you don't know how you got deal I got Diego. I. <laughs> Okay, cool. Because all I can remember was that you guys were not seeing eye to eye, Bleed Diego, Lemon Pizzi. And because he liked hip hop, mm. you know, because sometimes I can. So this is what happens, ne? <laughs> so you don't know the story. So Diego decides whether he wants to sign a hip hop act. And he comes to me, I'm like, no, VOT. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Then we communicated to you guys, whether there's a meeting with Diego. I remember that meeting. Yeah, <laughs> and the day we're supposed to go to the meeting, I'm not told, I'm not, you know this part. <laughs> the day we're supposed to go to this meeting, FOX, you know I love you, my brother. I love you so much. But Foxy, oh, I know, smoothie. And why influence you? Why influence are blind? Go smoothie, have Fox, I try and I on a So this guy's, so this guy's in our street, we find out that there, so we're going to walk to, Go to Diego to have this meeting about having VOT signed in a deal. You understand? And, and uh, Diego had the financial resources yeah. to do all of this and make it happen. So we tell these guys, guys, we're going for a meeting. Ah, FOX guy, we're going to have a meeting. Now, we're going to have a meeting. We're going to have a meeting. We're going to have a And we had to go without Bo, 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 Bo Fox. And when we got there, Diego, this is another thing you might not know. Diego was trying to say unsigned and Naloe. Mm. And I told him, listen, like we should do like a, a joint project. Hey, I was yeah. like, no, 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 it's not a good idea. Yeah. I feel like Scar could do it alone. Yeah. Hey, I mean, I'm not sure this guy. I'm like, no, believe me, you trust. Because this nigga on Nale home. Then I, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the first hip hop solo album came yeah. out in Botswana. And I don't Niggas know. missed the meeting. And that's the crazy part, though. Yeah. No, this is advice for youngsters. Sometimes you just have to participate. Yeah. You, just show you, up. Just show up. Yeah. You, you never know. Because a little night later, when I let time early, I'm looking at this man. I'm like, Ooh, what are we going to be doing? And you think about loyalty to your homies. And it's one of those things, that, you know, sometimes it goes unspoken. I mean, I love Fox. He's my bro forever. Mm-hmm. But, but like, I also feel. The way this story sometimes comes out in Nankarigari, they weren't serious enough. But we were kids. Mm. You know, a lot of us really didn't know, Hore, this is going to trickle down into the yeah. rest of our lives. No, no, Lynn, I had no, to tell you the truth, I didn't know it would be as big as it was. But I just knew, Hore, 
Because after that, I'm sure you know that after that I was not really that involved. Hey, no. do, do, hey, I was never back, really yeah. that involved. The, yeah. the next time I was involved was me getting a call from you guys to come do a song. Yeah. yeah. And hey, you tell her when I pizza, lady just like, ah, hey, guys, yeah, are yeah, living. Yeah, maybe, maybe I messed up. <laughs> no, and he, he really held it down. I'm, I'm going to fast forward a little bit um, to now, you know, you are releasing music under Eric Ramco Records. How long did you guys stay together and how many albums did you release under there? What people forget is I released my first single independently in Tango. Yeah. Um, no, no, this is how I, go, I met with Joe. Yeah. I, I, I moved out beginning number phase two. When I went to Versity, I moved out the crib. Yeah. It was a principal thing. Yeah. I felt like I needed to do that because I was brought up by a single woman. I felt yeah. like I needed to mature and grow and not be your typical only child. Yeah. So I was moving, hopping around, moving from place to place. And I ended up, ended up going yeah. And it was the strangest thing. Again, I rented out the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now I, I, okay, then I wanted to, I decided at some point, because you guys had released music, yeah. Bovi was was pop I, I decided listen I need to I want to release music too so I don't know how I find out whether I stay in the same neighborhood as Joe Morris mm. so I went to him and said Zen eh, it was a bit Zen I yeah, think so because that, that's how Zen that around that time I was linking because Zen and I yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how I remember that's how Zen got to manage V yeah, he yeah, came, yeah. she came to me and I introduced her to V yeah. anyway so I go to Joe and I tell him, listen, I, I want to record a single. Kibu Kai, she tells me, my dear, like, I got the 1.5 in the my dear car. 0.5. Then I, I, I remember I sold, I had a scanner and a printer, I sold them. And Kitlika, my dear, sell a gun, but I gave him, I told him, this is what I have. Yeah. He's like, what do you want to do? I'm like, uh, when I was Musala, I Musala Pul. Our class would always no one had it clean and one number one. Yeah. Would always get number one and clean. Yeah. And the guys battle saga would always be singing song. Yeah. Yeah. So it stuck in my head. Yeah. So I remember and I had the beat in my because I used to make beats. I yeah. had the beat in my head. I remember telling him, uh, press like this, and I found him with another guy called Joe. Hey, Joe, Joe, you might Daniel. Hey, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> hey, Joe, think no Joe, Tango and Lisa so but now suit him again with Lisa. Like Joe is one of those. He's an alien, literally. Yeah. You make a melody or a home or he plays it immediately. No doubt. Uh, you make a sound, like he plays it immediately. We, we put together the, the beat and I started, I started and I, I wanted to, and I decided, it was that time I decided I want that hook, yes, John. Yeah. But I've a hip hop, but a hook, yes, John. You understand? And I was asking, and I asked Joe, can you sing this? Word? And I found mm -hmm. out, like, Dude, it was like it was meant to be. Like yeah. that guy's voice made sense with that song. Yeah. And he loved the song. <laughs> Apparently he was playing it for everyone. <laughs> so we no did home. Then I did diverse. Diverse certain things as a whole. Yeah. But in Rosa Jail, it was just not. Because happened, there was no one doing it like yeah. that. So you really didn't have like yeah. a template or your so, okay, because, so I was like, what's the king? I was, I told him, no, listen, what did you do He was like, ah no, it's mm. No, yeah, but then I sat down and I for the first time in my life, like, well, I got to Yeah. Then I recorded it. And now what thing you could not go take a song to radio without a proof. People won't take no one is not kinda single. Okay, you're dropping a single. It was, mm. So I told them I'm dropping an album with hell. Yeah. This is the lead single. We can with other radio stations. And like you got single, you'd be like you because they kids and they were excited by the fact that Ninklika uh they are not, I got skills thing there in FM. Hey, 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 hey. I'd had a song play on rotation with someone's beat. Okay. You, you guys also had a song, you remember? Um -T. Yo, you got Nita, you got B.I.G. We we'll always hey, love hey, the hey, papa. Hey, and then when it. you won the I got skills, then you get to record the hey, track. Then you guys won the next month and then you hey, 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 So 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 I took the song to radio, dude, like that song blew up because of Loose Boy. Mm. He would open with it most of the times. Okay. And it would play, and I did a little... I took some beat from someone, and I did an intro, and we get on stage, and then I would perform. I was always performing that one song. But Is it would burn? Yeah, yeah, mob deep. Okay. No, 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 it's not that. It was an up-tempo thing we could yeah. dance to. And I would be performing everywhere. 
Now I was one of those people that mm. I'll call easy big like hey, Mr. Man, no yeah. Yeah, hey, Then I'll go, I'll, I'll hop on, I'll find transport and go there. So people thought I was booked, mm. and I was approached in the midst of me performing and taking off my t-shirt and <laughs> <laughs> and doing shows because I was also yeah. doing shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I booked v, v. I was the first person to pay V. Yeah, like legit pay him. But then I feel like oh, like do that miss Nalid for real. I did miss Nalid. You go game seat. What's that place called? Um, Macrib. Yeah, I was the first person to book my rib yeah before i booked my rib it was just a a restaurant they didn't think they couldn't do it but you guys have an outdoor space yeah so i booked it kebala from fire and i did a, i did my first show my first show in a quad thing but kind of this is like the beginning of a lot of like gigs happening because there yeah. wasn't a lot of gigs for local performers yeah. a lot of the time the gigs in the dragon in a lot if they're bringing someone in but like to have a local yeah. economy yeah the gig in or but you can book each other and yeah. we can create because I remember there was a time where when I, when my people had come out, mm. you know what I mean? And I think that's how easy be that like, the first time in killing a book, kind of thing. He literally had to look for a mic. Yeah, because so, it, was, it was just DJs. Yeah, it was always just DJs. Yeah. They, they just catered for themselves. So that day, and you can imagine how many events are there mm. from Wednesday. Even looked at that from Tuesday to Sunday, mm. now Gabs is looking completely different. What, what, what can you say about, about that? I mean, don't you feel like you're in like a, another dimension? Yeah. When you think back at like how all of these things, literally, no one was doing them as hard as they're doing them until people like yourself. And it, it was rare. Easy. It was rare. And it was ironic because mm. to this day, I still get people who, you know, some people, some, someone approached me and said, you know, I'm like, dog, mm. I've been promoting since I was 18. Yeah. You understand? Um, it's 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 been interesting because at some point we knew all the promoters. Yeah, uh, we knew Rodney Lee Fishy, we knew Rodney Lee Easy B. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah, uh, and people don't understand how long uh, Fish has been promoting for. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. Fish was promoting. Kele, dude, I was a kid. Yeah, like when I was doing when I had eighteen, mm -hmm. he was always there advertising shows. Kobo, um, what was that place? Kwele Nchenta Mbarumbeni Nguruang. Trakas. Yeah. It was called something else before. Uh, anyway, cut the one no more. You know that was that was that I was used to walk there. Eh, yeah. That was fish. That yeah. was fish doing those shows. Hey, but budi ba. Eh, no no. Can we do ba? Eh, in the fish in a coil. Eh, eh. At this album, you understand. So the house of blues. House of blues yeah. actually. Because it was house of, yeah. first, and then it became house, house of blues. House of blues. In the fish in a coil. That was the first time I ever saw a speaker this big, yeah, bass beam. Hey. I think my figuzola was there. Now I'm a figuzola in a fishy, okay. and V was supposed to perform his first big show. But now we're Guess what? Guess what V did? Guess what he did? What did he do? He cried. Oh shame, like. Yeah, la, yeah, la blind. Yeah, I think my fishy can hurt. I'm a man of VIP. I'm a man of one talent. Like, okay, but look, I let's show you. Yeah, no. I agree. He thought yeah. Tanta wanted him. <laughs> but was there something no, to that thing? Though? I don't know. I don't know. No, no. I, I mean, everyone has moved on. You know. I have no idea. Older. I don't know. You know, now I've never known people's. He used like to be on the text with her. I mean, yeah. I don't know why I didn't ask him when he was here. He no really believed it. Yeah, it's not too late. Tamo, get tamo, get tamo, sab, get tamo, take up, get more. Take it to hell, more. I know. I keep on talking. Move a little faster because you're talking about sitting with the later part of your 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 life when you stop doing the music. That alone is as interesting as your music life. Um, but I, I want to wrap it up there with the with the Eric Ramco situation. One or recently, recently, what happened there? Were you happy? Did you get what you wanted from signing a deal? Because I'm sure this was your first. Record deal. Yeah. No, yeah. no, it wasn't actually. Yeah. Um, after Nsangko, I was about when I was performing, I was about to say this. Mm -hmm. I got approached by uh, So Hype. Oh, yeah. Masi Hule. Yeah, Masi Hule. My yeah. first album, The Cast, was released by So Hype. Yeah. By Masi. That's why I was always performing about T Joint and the like. Can we always forget Masi? Yeah. No, my first. Masi is the first guy who gave me my first deal. Very, very first deal. He did my cover. Yeah. Only legal act. Yeah. He did. He did the cover. I have a cast, and he did. One and a quarter. Bo Bo Bantuka. Hey, that was mass. It was not Eric Ramco. Why is the guy not that? Ramco Ramco was does it. Mm. Hey. So later. I remember you were with Mass. Yeah. yeah. So when we were working on V's album, I think uh, Kasi Angels. Mm. And I would be going to the studio, and Zilu Presley would keep saying, "Hey, man, I got was with Presley, go pizza, yeah. come back home, <laughs> come back home." Yeah. So yeah, yeah, so I ended up recording with them and signing that deal. It was really 
cool because for me it felt like a comeback mm. at that time because yeah. we don't understand how well the cast did the cast mm. did really really well it I sold the most it. copies um, in yeah. bw hip-hop well yeah. well you keep saying it i'm reiterating it because no, I'm, gonna cl- I'm gonna clarify that okay. and this is that's part of the reason why i'm, I'm working on new music actually because yeah. i you you grew up and you made sure and you learn to know that certain things unless certain things are official then they, they didn't happen yeah. you understand i remember having my covers in almost Chinese it was unheard of for for to be recognized by Chinese people. Yes sir. They recognized Visa and your Francos because they knew that that C D moved. Yes. Sir. My C D moved to that point like ah you know, and they had a poster of me in that doors, and it was doing really, really well. And it was playing in the speaker outside. You understand? <laughs> for a hip hop project, I was really, really proud of that. Yeah. You understand? You know, I was like, yeah, no, at least I sold that for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but with Eric then, uh, hey. did, uh, did it take you to uh, the point that you wanted? Was it everything that you thought it would Dude, be? I actually feel like we could have taken it forever. Honestly, maybe, and this is just a personal point of view. I feel like Eric pumped the brakes at some point. Mm. I feel like he had the opportunity to take it to levels unknown. I remember how go at some point, you know, bo. Nigerian guys wanted to collaborate with us. The yeah. time we were performing Go Channel O, Lebo, 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 Lebo like yeah. guys wanted to work with us. Mm. People will hear press beats, the beat is out and they will lose their mind. Yeah. It's like, yeah, how, how is this How happening? is this mo- here? You mm. understand? So I just feel like he pumped the brakes at some point. Uh, but, you know. Was it because traditional sold more? Do you think it would be sus- sustainable to have a hip hop act leading a, a record label? Because. Here you are making all of these, um, you know, sales with Mampizi, yeah. all of these sales with Matiang, hip hop, okay. Yeah. And we, we, for me, I honestly don't even feel like hip hop needed to, because he even said to himself, if I'm not misquoting him, for the traditional was the money, and hip hop was the look. Was the look, yeah. It was the PR, was the branding. I feel like that was a sustainable model. Still, we didn't have to outsell but Matiang. Mm. We just had to keep going and growing and reaching out to other markets. Because I honestly, I think the one thing that breaks my heart to this day mm. is the fact that we never made it beyond the borders. Like yeah. that thing taunts me. Like yeah. if there's a reason I wish I could find a, a time machine and go back in time, mm. it's that. Because I feel like the potential was there. Yeah. Like listening, dude, I, I, from, I, I played you and more, all and other guys from for from, from mm. my time because he recently discovered hip, BW Hip Hop. Yeah. He's like, oh no, it's legit. And he thinks it's just starting to be nice now. And I played... He, he couldn't believe it. He was like, he's like, this thing is from back then. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Damn, dog. You understand? So it had the potential. It had the, the, the quality. It had the, the skill level was there too for us to go international. And the fact that most of us never did. I mm. always use even a current person as an, as an example. Yeah. You, know, you know how everyone, we can debate people. We can debate my skill level and how the impact I have. But most people can't debate art. Yeah. Art is known. Yeah. You understand? Hensi is only known in Botswana. And what does that say about our industry and how far we've come? Mm. Our conversation is a span of more than 20 years now. Yeah. Talking about us building. And it was there were people building before us. Yeah. And the, I think the conversation needs to be, why are we not able to break that glass ceiling? And I thought with Tlaza, I was trying to break that glass ceiling. Because we're rushing straight to Tlaza. Yeah. Because the, the, the concept of Tlaza Lebala, what got you to that point? Um, the minute I heard what well, this guy's doing Philip they're doing what people forget is it was two weeks after Casper announced Philip mm. that I said I want to fill up yeah. and I knew what I was tapping into because I think um, how the artist in Mozana you become sort of a th- I think psychologist you understand the human mind to an extent <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you understand the human mind to an extent so I knew I knew they would come for me as soon as, I, and I put it on Twitter before anywhere else like, yeah. oh Linda I want to fill up yeah, <laughs> you understand because that's the mind, that's the mind, that's the psyche, and that's the mindset I was trying to change. Well, we have this mindset, the Maya Botswana, mm-hmm. like Botswana are like the most no, okay, like, I've not been anywhere else, so I can't say the most, mm-hmm. but the level of self hate in Botswana it breaks my heart if you compare it to the level of talent and skill, not only in the music industry across the board. Mm-hmm. You understand, we're such a talented nation of individuals we have free education we have free healthcare. we have so many competitive advantages from other countries that we don't benefit from and our own worst enemies is ourselves so when i announced i was trying to say this guy also mm-hmm. the dome 
Because <laughs> I knew you can't I'd seen him. Yeah. I go past stage. You understand? Yeah. I go yeah. perform my go UB. I go perform my go Moko I have to go yeah. over that hotel, motel thing. Eh. Kogilo kona li show thing. Kogilo kona li show thing. How yeah? I think how yeah go millennium. I'm gonna let some hotel. Oh, netla ni aro na country lodge. Not yah one. Motel. Go space yah la na go fencing anywhere. I remember. Eh. Eh. Oh, Garrison Center. Garrison Center. Yeah. Th- hmm. Kyo no. Garrison Center. Isn't Garrison Center school? No, 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 no. Yeah, was some show when I was the first time I met Casper was there. Yeah. And and yeah. well. So I'm saying for me it was an inspiration. Well, let me do this. Well. Mm. It was not a copy. And I made it clear later on us like because I'm a from my educational background and home, I'm a I'm a project manager, sort of coordinator type of thing. I was like, for me, I'm gonna take the skill set that I got from the Cast Foundation, give it to I made cannabis as HIV activism and programming that thing and put it into the music industry because I've been doing at the time I'd been making money off social entrepreneurship, mm. doing projects as about circumcision, HIV, drug awareness and all those things. Yeah. So for me it was an opportunity to put it into the music industry. So I was like, no, I'm not gonna do a one man show. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do an event there at locals. Mm-hmm. We can fill up I feel like we have the capacity as local artists to fill up a high capacity venue. Mm-hmm. And people did not believe it was possible. And I feel like we succeeded because as much as people bashed whatever the concept and the works after that, people went and undid that before that, and no one was questioning whether that's possible. Mm. Initially, they were ah, yeah, it's in local, guys, I go be beating, I go be adding to line up. So I was trying to kill that mindset. I was as Botswana, the capacity is there; it's not yeah. being tapped into. As our marketing departments, our marketing officers are f- sleeping on the job because. Potentially, the creative sector was one is amazing. Yeah. We have some really talented people, even Lebanon, Baba, and Chabadi, by influencer, but it's not being tapped into. Yeah. Budgets are being spent in the wrong places, you understand? Yeah. Uh, so, I'm really, really passionate about growing this industry and getting it out there. So, yeah. that's why I was doing Tlatsa. That's why I was, I could have done it the way I did it and called it a one man show. Yeah. Because that's what people do. You do a, sh- a one man show, then you call a lineup. Yeah. You know, but I did not want to call it a one man show. Yeah. I did it under the Cast Foundation. I didn't do it as Cast. Mm. I could have done it as Cast. And people just still don't know I did it as, as, the, the, Cast as the Cast Foundation. Yeah. And for me, I think it broke my heart. Because kind of people don't understand the accusations of Jose Dwey Lebatu came on a Sunday, even the Saturday. Do you know mm. that? Yeah. The I first remember. post. Yeah. The first post that I was had to get a gillian into, which I don't know what was wrong with it, yeah. came. And for me, I was just laughing along with everyone. I was like, hey, it's about what about. Mm. I did not think it would be a t- thing that will be used and weaponized to come against my character, which eventually I'd walk into offices trying to grow the brand at last and hear the mood of his scene. Mm. Oh, no, can I cast the hat? I do like the artist. I was like, but when these people, the same people, how home, what friend, like a worker, when didn't they see people pledge to perform for free? Yeah. So you know, that's why I never took it seriously. I, I wanna get our timeline sorted out here. Mm. Why did you walk initially? Was it because you couldn't get the show done? You what was I going walked? on then? Let me be honest. Mm. And I'm saying this. And I, I don't think I'm saying this for the first time, but maybe I'm explicitly saying this for the in the way I'm saying it. Yeah. Um the reason I walked was because of uh what was his name? The minister, former yeah. minister. Re Oloping. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want me to get sued? Thank you. <laughs> 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 it's like you go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I remember reason. you called me once. Yeah. Yeah. That's Let's the reason I walked. For you. This is how I looked at it. Ne? I I know the processes. I've gotten funding. I know I run a foundation, so I know the administrative processes of getting funding and getting support. And I know how government funds, and I know all those yeah. things. Yeah. And it was an advantage because what I did is when this thing was still a concept before in 2016. In 2015, 15, yeah. actually, yeah. I wrote to the Ministry mm. of Youth, Sports and Culture and told them this is what I want to do and I want support. A professional proposal. I wrote another proposal to the Minister as the patron of the arts. As a Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, mm. you are sort of the government's representative for the sector. Yeah. And I was asking him, Can you, is it possible for you to support this movement and this is what the objectives are. This is even before people knew it was not a one-man show. Mm. This is what the objectives are. This is what we want to do. Can you assist and be a patron? And even though you are still already a patron of this thing. Yeah. Didn't hear from anyone. I would follow up. I would go there. I would, dude. At some point, they would make fun of me. I remember you told you know, me uh, once you, you were at said 6 a.m. Dude. And then you were there at 6 a.m. You know what would happen? Um the former 
ministers would come in really, really early to sort out that stuff. It was like a culture thing. Yeah. Like ministers would be going ministering about 6 a.m., even before about the workers came, you understand? Yeah. So we, I knew that. So I remember at some point I'd stayed such a long time trying to meet the minister. I was like, was you can him And I was not even beaten because I just figured he was busy. Yeah. So that yeah. this is what I was thinking. What like elevator yeah. pitch basically. Yeah. Yeah. He shows up. I'd been waiting for like an hour. He shows up, no, 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 like he dismissed me out of here. I was like, okay, no, cool. I never take I don't take anything personally yeah. to this day. Yeah. So dismiss her. I continue following up. Then about 50 came back. Okay. 2016. Yeah. Okay. 50, same proposal. This is what I'm working on. What, what, what? It could be part of the about 50 celebrations, having it all lined up. What, what, what? I remember getting a call from someone from the ministry and tell, ah, I know these people are doing something similar to what you're doing, Golubat. Like, what do you do? I'm like, no, no, it's something else. You remember that show in LA, all local? And I lost my mind. Hey, you know hey, I'm hey, invested hey, in this thing. Hey, was, hey, they, they did a show. Yeah, Initially, I remember that show. Apparently, they were trying to do it at the National Stadium. But there was some kind of clerical thing. in yeah. the Basa If they could, they would have done it at National Stadium more. Before you could. Hey, before yours. I did it. Like, it broke my heart. But I just decided, listen, I'm not going to take anything personally. Like, it's really like And I just continued to follow up. Yeah. You hey, can follow up. You can follow up. Hey, dude, I remember at some point, I started printing merchandise. The first one, one of the first merchandise is ministering. Yeah. I remember giving him a cap and a t-shirt. I was like, hey, man, this guy is really dismissive. But I always chalked it up to all this. Because for me, as far as I, I did not... We you didn't don't have, know him. We we, so it couldn't be... Home yeah. Myself. And I don't know if that was the same day he told me in passing and saw one time, can I not work? I don't know who told him that. And I just because I'm kind of thing. And I would get people telling me, well, no, can I got to do because I have to go individualistic. We don't assist individuals. I'm like, dude, everything has an individual spearheading it. There's, yeah. there's nothing. It's like the home of the local foundation. I got to go like in a piece. You understand? So how is this individualistic? Yeah. And I've been working with government. I know the processes, so you can educate me on home. And I know the police and government does not really help us yeah, yeah. individuals. Yeah. That's why I want to go to the house and get to the house. There's always a way. Yeah. There's no such thing that government does not help individuals. Yeah. You understand? Chema Chem. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> Five tigers. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so it built up. It's, it's a long story. Let me just... No, break people. it down. Dog, break it down. So... I the dates they are to mail uh, at some point I, I just give up. I'm like, it's it's clear the writing is on the wall. On mm. how, how I go to see you, I understand. And my timelines get a bit because it took a long time. I remember at some point I will not mention his name because mm. they told me I'm told to get to see you, I understand. Yeah. And someone else who knows the minister personally, I don't have no Takole, but the Batak Bahanella, my daughter Meta or Kole, so Nana and Nagua thing. Actually, I'm skipping timelines, I'll get back to that. Yeah. I ended up going to OP. Kikwadi, I can't get good lesson, and OP in Batika Kanya thing. I remember one of the main home. Um, Assistance that I have, President, they taking phone and telling them, because guys, as government, we do not work this way. Mm. We respond to people. It's a yes or no, mm. but you need to respond. You cannot just motor analyze the timeline. And, and that was the week before the first letter. I can't postpone it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. I literally got the, got access to the stadium. Even the lesser my zebu were on a Friday. Oh man. And it takes three days to prep the lebar, stadium, yeah. and to put the tough cover. Yeah. And I had to hire people. And I was using my own funds. I didn't had no sponsors. Yeah. I used, I literally in 2016, I used up all my savings. The Lobatsi show had already happened. It had happened and it did not do even what they thought it would do. Yeah, because it was stolen. Yeah. It was uh, yeah, anyway. So I remember spending everything. I remember meeting guys. This is what's happening. I remember meeting the I said, no, I know how guy I went to be with. No, when I came out, I was going to be with. The last thing I'm like, No, I know him. So last minute, so I'm there panicking. I'm thinking, 
like you call it the artistic emergence of Kuntana. And I got to because I, I remember in, I, in, I was trying to make it work and I was mm. overwhelmed. And I was I didn't really have a big team and I was and I knew the project more than anyone else. Yeah. So we are working around the clock. We're trying to put things together to make it work. What what what? Tough cover. I think well, those guys about who put the tough cover keep. Like I'm, I'm cleared up. Everything I'd be working for from the music and the foundation and all the projects mm. I've done for the American Embassy, my dad thing has hit so hard and more more. And it doesn't, it's not legit because I say we talk about my daddy company, we need mm. big money. Yeah. That's not about I would talk about 1.5 million to do it properly. Anyway, yeah. Pula na mona. Yes, we're going to study among about 12. Pula nzi na. The sound guy and blah, blah, blah. and the people who are supposed to help me with sound had pulled back. Basa, tabasa, pull me. I got another person. Come on, let's go to Rungi. Let's go to Chitale. I bought a sound. I can't set up until Pule is missing. Mm. Yeah, at some point, I want to get a little bit more. Just go rest, and we'll call you. Have Pule. I'm talking to Ang Pule. No, these guys are not going to stop. Holding a tough cover. Yeah. They'll put it in the ring. This Ang Pule. No, as soon as Pule, I'm. That's the sound. I remember sleeping at home and just being half a week. And waking up at five, or four, pulling the cook man, pulling the na, pulling the shower na we tell labo, we ten, Michael. And we are there thinking of setting up view. We are going to no set them on a red bed, set. And I to make home. And I remember writing the the, the press release. I was about postponing. Can I let Mas Mas head show na pala ko nuko na habase. But I was like, well, I post you, 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 you. That a text. And I still don't understand. To, to this day, I think when I know you'd think, well, why would you attack someone for spooning? And Batrano will always find something. It's an act of God. Yes. Yeah, so, well, and they were saying, and Batrano will always hold, find something to hold on to. And they were using tickets. Mm. But they forget what the number I'd been person. Yeah. Can I look OCD and I'm obsessive. <laughs> when we were doing tickets at La I kept insisting, and people were tired by team. Can I go? 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 Can We're even giving away tickets to guys who are performing. Yeah. So I can only tickets to 10. Can I go? 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 Can and um, people were saying, and we keep finding out every time there was a case of someone posting, there was some girl on ID, he said, someone would post a ticket out about a refund, and we're telling people, no, we refund everyone. Mm. And at this point, I, I still do, don't even know how I'm going to refund people because yeah. I've spent all my money. Yeah. I remember we look into Tef Cover because Stadium was calling me, hey, Mr. Tef Cover, hey, halfway, hey, sing alone, we'll talk about that way. I sing alone, we're going to have to charge you this amount. And what's like around? Yes, yes. <laughs> I have to book those guys, happy. So I have to pay them. I have to get forklift the rap. I have to get divinity to sing home. When I have to do up. And at the same time, I'm dealing with people telling me I need to refund them. So I ask people, send me your ticket. But about the loudest people on, on social media, 100% of them, listen to me, 100% of them were complaining about tickets and about the heart. So I would get online, ticket out, get my ticket out. Make a ticket in here, and it's a tattoo. How did he sell it to you? No, no, no. I'm not going to sell it to you. I'm not going to sell it to you. Ah. And this is what the guys, like, was, like for me, and people were saying, why don't you expose these people? Why don't you go on mm. Facebook? I was like, no, but that, that's not how I move. Yeah. It's fine. We got over that. But we had to be able to get the ministry. We had to be able to get the ministry. By the way, we had to be able So I think I have a legitimate expectation. Yeah, we had to postpone because of ABCD, but what, 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 what? Can I get the ministry? Not in those words, but in simple terms, they were still resistant from the top. I don't know what I make. It was just like it was. It just became more and more expressive. And it keeps okay. And I remember asking people who were close to him, "Who's talking about?" About you. You understand? Maybe he just doesn't yeah. like rappers. I met him. Go. The, the the one time I spoke to him was Cody Pizinkoma Wu. And he was like, No, can I go to it? And he was like, Can you say that to me, home? But it's not about that. For me, it's a project. You yeah. understand? It's success is it being done well. Yeah. Even if we don't feel up, but ultimately the ambition and the energy to put into it. But who's telling him this? I don't know. The person anyway. who really has his ear yeah. for real, like, well, I'm and he believes it. And, and what got worse is it was clear where they. I was always being put at a position whereby I felt like that when I help, then they would last minute pull it back. Yeah. They would never, because I knew the process, I was always asking for the Kualo just to confirm for the Larun Tu said it would always be resistance. So I'm going to put in pressure. I'm a person who are programming, I promote initiatives. 
So I asked government all the time. I was like, what is the best way to get attention around this cause mm. and music and everything I'm doing? Like, and I'm my idea. I don't even know. At this time, it's really bad. Look, like, go home, mash up. Yeah. Go mash up. I tell people that since 20, I feel like I've been broke since 2016. Anyway, so I start, I post because I'm going to walk a thousand kilometers for local music. It was the scariest thing I'd ever done. Like, for me, I thought about it. I was like, I'm going to do it. And the fact that I was scary and out of my comfort zone, I was like, I'm going to do it. Yeah. it. It was like, I was. It was by way of doing, yeah, yeah. but not telling people what I home. But it was all about that guy. Yeah, yeah. I swear, it was all about him. At the back of my mind, I was like, I'm gonna get this guy's attention. If I can't meet him in an office, I can't take two years. There was a time you would go to the office of the president to meet the guy. I was still met by other people. Yeah. So for me, so for me, for people, for me, I don't know. I don't really know the kind of person he is. Yeah. But the person he. He showed me or sold me was a really negative. Yeah. You understand? Because with government, you can be turned down legitimately, but there's always that aspect of how especially people who work in the arts department, they will feel yeah. like, you know, this person is trying to push. There would always be that advice or home or not. Sometimes, yeah. the will give you time. Give you time. I didn't yeah. get any of that from him. And, and for me, people who say he doesn't even owe me, it's like, that's his office. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to get his attention. And it got his attention. And it was crazy because when I got to, when I left Town, he showed up in his, he showed up for a photo op. Yeah. I remember up, the photos. When he up, and I, what the fuck? And he still did not give me the vein. <laughs> the assistant minister fought for me to get that vein. Who was the assistant minister then? Muzunil. Hey. Hey. Muzunila just told me, well, listen, don't disappoint me. I see what you're working on. Yeah. And that's the only reason I got that thing. And people forget this. People think there's this misconception around the work. It was not a sponsored work. Mm. We did not advertise. We didn't ask for money. People would show up and say, and it was a good thing because what people did to remember is, how do you think about it? How do you think about it? 1,000 kilometers, 35 mm. days. You cannot do anything with 5,000. Yeah. I got a support car from Don Derai, from Dialogue Such and Such. Yeah, what's up, Mr. Tara? I got 5,000 from Dialogue, uh, from Tonde, mm -hmm. from those other resources I had, 5,000 and home. And support vehicle. Yeah, and I, I, I got uh, technical advice from, what's the name of this guy? There's, there's an organization that does works. Yeah. Um, Work for life, I kids. I remember, I can't believe I forgot this. Um, Archibald. No, what's the name? There's an organization that it yeah. does night bush walk and what, what. Hey, hey, hey. I think I'm with, hey. I, got, I, got, I got the advice to, you know, the boots that people are making fun of, the hiking boots. That's the, that's <laughs> yeah. the proper gear and homo. I got the boots from Keno Custom Suits, Dizala Zaka. Yeah, man. You shout out to them. But Dialogue really had me. Like had my back. I don't want to lie to you. Mm -hmm. Dialogue such and such like really, really had my back. And we got the support car, got the money, bought the initial things, but it was not enough to get us to Gabs. Mm -hmm. But luckily, but to see you more and people were always joining us and working with us. Mm -hmm. Then they were saying, Satun Dipula, Satli, Pasatun Dipula, Satli, but you know, and that thing like held us till the end. And because Nike was an organization, mm -hmm. I asked one of the team people, I was like, Kwadi Senko, Simulang or Kwadi Sabato. Mm -hmm. So we have a database of all the people that donated money. No doubt, Ironic. man. Yeah. So we got to Gabs. And this is... No, you're thing. moving too fast, but like, we're going to go back to the yeah, walk. Yeah. Yeah. So we get to Gabs, I guess. So this misconception, I was like, I'm going to go to the walk. I'm going to go to the walk. I remember we got to Gabs with around one point something. When we got to Gabs, after work we had, mm. the money we had, Ghana no had to ask me to get a case foundation was one point something, one point four mm. after the whole walk. And to us, the main event that Atlas we were given. Um, I might get the figures wrong. I think Orange gave us forty five thousand, mm. and BTC gave us sixty thousand. Yeah. I think it was uh, hundred and five thousand all of it. Yeah. That's the money that did Atlas That's how we went into the event. <laughs> that's the money besides my dear merchandise because we started doing merchandise yeah, and shout out to Mox uh, House of T-shirts Mox mm. gave us the initial 10 T-shirts Mahala mm. we then would sell them then would give him the money we sold it with him then you would print more that's, yeah. and that's how we make a we make a merchandise so, so, yeah. so besides merchandise and 105,000 that's how we went into, into the event 
and it was a success, luckily. It was beautiful. It was a success. It was dope, dope, dope. Guess what happens after that? Um, Kato is the man. The cost. <laughs> no, the, 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 yeah. the, that's the first thing. Yeah. The tickets and the people that are in the stadium don't correlate. You there know, were more people in there. The, were more people in the stadium. Yeah. We're expecting a slightly more people because there was a time that no TV more to the point that there was no movement from go go second and Yeah. So there was a bottleneck, so we had to open up so that but just to reduce that bottleneck. Yeah. So we estimated maybe a thousand people at the most. Mm. I was like more than six thousand people we couldn't account for. Now on top of that that the tickets we had, the thirteen thousand tickets we had, the money was still not equivalent to the thirteen thousand tickets we yes, had. Sir. So we spent weeks going back and forth. But we had this table, you know, and at some point we put the blame on the ticketing company. And let, let me just come close to clear here. Mm. I learned so much about ticketing in that period. Where it's really, really hard for web tickets to cheat you. Mm. I know people are going to lose their <laughs> promoters. And it's, no, it's called the system. It's hard for them to cheat you. Mm. And the contract says if they sell tickets, if you can, even if you can sell those tickets, but if you can have stub steady. 20,000, they have to give you my dad 20,000. Yeah, hey, you yeah. understand? Because you keep stops. Because the system is, but people don't take the time to learn it. Mm-hmm. So I can clearly say, well, no one got ticketing cheated us. Yeah. Or the ticketing company, maybe the ticketing people. So for sure, people it ended up, it, it ended up, probably, you know, I think I had such an open, because I wanted to make it an industry thing. You know what mm-hmm. I did with Tlata? How until it's on top no, tell my guy, what can you do? Mm. Yeah, do it. Yeah. So we had so many from on the day, we had so many people, and I don't want to mention some of them because by by it's a real, by it's a real, but they were there, you know. When I Kanya, we did not anticipate the the cooler, cooler, the cooler box, and they were paid for. Yeah. We don't, we have zero, we don't know where the money ended up at that. We have no idea. But bouncers, I can write it's already yeah, no, hey, someone, someone was laughing at me and telling me, hey, after event, I have when every bouncer had a card. <laughs> it's like, hey, when I event, I have a card. I'm going to go Anyway, so this is happening, and I'm running around simultaneously. I'm trying to, in my head, keep home as okay, no, even they did not make money. Mm-hmm. Um, the money I made of that, the money I personally spent. I bought my wife a car. Mm-hmm. The money I spent, I made was around 250000 Yeah. The money that went to me. Yeah. And it, it, it was an official transaction from Cash Foundation to myself. Yes, sir. And it's not even the amount I spent on the initial class. Yeah. But for me, I was not mad. Mm. I was like, that's why you never had in the media what the cash staff will feel. Because for me, it, it, I felt like it was a tainter campaign. You know, yeah, you know? yeah. So keeping it clean. So we'd have meetings. My dear merchandise, I didn't think we'd meet with the merchandise person and discuss kind of thing. Yeah. You understand? And I feel like some of them became mm. and went ahead and we were part of the mudding of the waters. Because yeah. they thought I was going to come after them, which I, I was never interested in. Them. Yeah. I didn't see the utility in home. So going after if coming them, after yeah. them was going to give back money, maybe I would have done it. Yeah. But I could not say well, they, definitively. Mm. I'm not going to say because I don't have proof. Yeah. Anyway, so I kept it quiet. But at the same time, there was a time I was in the 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 promoter. The event, the hot tag, the artist, the. No, I remember when that happened, and then I called you. You know what Tato did? You know what Tato did? You know what, you know what another th- painful thing is? As much as what I didn't pay artists, uh, guys, um, I don't know if you remember this guy. Yeah. Guys had volunteered to perform for my heart. Yeah. Guess what we did after the event? You paid them. We had, ev- we had money from. Uh, Liquid Ramas, we have access to. Like I was still dealing with Kanye ticketing. Yeah. So I took that money and I was calling guys and going to other guys. Give me another 2.5. Yeah. Then Scar calls me and says, Mr. Man, who talked about to say back or some artist? Who who tested tested like Gibson? Never to my dear. Give me guys. No, you believe that I go home and I was like, no, who post Scar to go home? And Scar was like, I don't know if you remember this. Like one little guy got told about whom. Ah, but Scar was like, one little guy got told about whom because you are there giving people money and you are talking about no doubt. Because it really didn't make any sense. Like especially because I knew about how you got to that point, mm. you know. And I, I don't know for you on or how level about one and like the love that they gave you. Did it not, you know, warm your heart? No, it did. But mm. you know, were not as bad as... I mean, people like to generalize a lot of the time, but, like, in essence, a lot of Batswana are really good people. It's just that the, some of the people that we put in positions of power, 
then act like they own everything. It's, it's, it's called the, the loud minority. That's why I always hesitate to say about mm. Because for me, yeah. let me tell you what was happening. We would have people literally drive from another place to come park their car, get someone else to drive it and walk with us. People who'd give us money, people who'd accommodate us. Because it was like, it was heartwarming. What people don't understand is, I did another walk at 2,000 kilometers, mm-hmm. which was not very popular. Damn. People were pissed off. I don't know what. <laughs> but it was, it was like the most popular. Yeah, arts can say. And when I arrived and I thought of the things that people, I was thinking of how unpopular this thing is. It's not very popular. But I had a team which was there with me in the first walk. And I knew people. And I was just thinking of all the... Like, it's an Amogab scam. And I was thinking of all the things. Now I'm a bit of a crybaby, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For me, it was overwhelming. It's, it's, it's like, I'm like, these people, like, stopped their lives to just do me. something that had nothing. Because it maybe it has something to do with it, but it was my thing. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So, majority of us are that way. But they're yeah. very sympathetic. They go back to who we like to pull together. Then, unfortunately, we like to pull together. So, hype has been a lawyer and a lawyer. Hype is a lawyer. Because one of them who work as a punchline. Mm. You understand? And you're using it really well also. Yeah. You you learned. You, you laugh at yourself yeah. so that people I've, I've, don't... I've always laughed at myself because yeah. I'm... I'm yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so it's easy to make fun of myself. You yeah. understand? So I've always had to have tough skin. Yeah. But but when I look at it from outside of myself, it's a shame. Um, some Someone was telling me, well, what you what you did, mm. it's, it, it does not exist in other countries. You yeah. walked a thousand kilometers, don't walk two thousand kilometers. Yeah. Um, tourism organizations and other institutions will be monetizing this and using it to attract people. It should be something that people are coming and trying mm-hmm. to walk the same route you walked as a challenge, Had the same way people go up up Kilimanjaro. Yeah. But we, we don't see that. For us, we see individuals. Uh, the, even the people who are in do not see the cause you're pushing. They see the person. Yeah. But, oh, I do an interview. Good for them. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. It would rather not all eat. That, that mindset is, is really prevalent. Mm. So when you are doing, when I was doing the work we are arts can, cancel, the people, it felt like the people who were against me more than anyone was, were, were other artists. Because mm. I wanted to do it as a relay. I wanted mm. to involve other artists. I didn't want to walk alone. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Ah, but they were not interested. You understand? Yeah. And since, since we're talking about when you go into offices, this guy, people will tell you, I'm an artist in working this whole bad thing. What did you not give you like doing? What did you do to other people? It's like, people? I was like, no, I tried to change their lives. Yeah, I pissed them off by trying to change the status quo and try to see get music and the creative sector being looked at as a professional thing. Yeah, because it does contribute to the GDP in a yeah. big way. Yeah, you know, entertainment yeah. is everywhere. How on a le show le nyalo mo cost nine pinat ten official thing wow pele you understand yeah, yes, music is a big part of any culture they just want to use us when they can use us though yeah, you yeah. if it's like campaigns if it's like something it's like a means to an end yeah. but instead of like considering it horikione it can actually create you know some 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 yeah. difference in the GDP I, I want to talk about your name as can say horiki has anyone been like similar thank you sir. Sure, like that. No, I'm serious though. For real. That's for literally real, the real. first handshake I've gotten about the Ask Council. Yeah. Yeah. So no one sees. <laughs> no one you, you, realizes you know, that this conversation is at least more like where. And here we are, we have an Ask Council that exists now. What's your king? It's, it's, it's still the same thing. And for me, I honestly, I don't need accolades or trauma. Yeah. But not only don't you get accolades, but. It's like you are punished for doing good. For doing good things. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like you are you are avoided kaboom. Is yeah. it because they feel you're putting them on blast? As I, if like I, you're saying what they are not doing. It's like they're job. trying to prove what they know. This was still a conversation before you because I would hear a lot of the people in the music. No, industry. that at the Marta yeah. we were has always been a conversation, but yeah. like it got expedited when you made it a thing. Yeah. And I'm always wondering, Ronor, does that mean we need we need artists by the parliamentarian so that we can get our point across? Because everyone wants it when it's their idea. The way you segued way to, into that was perfect. That's <laughs> what we nigga, need. Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need. We need. Once you can, unfortunately, move to another way. Our structure of of things is these these decisions are made. Important decisions are made at government level. Hey. You understand at parliamentary level. The, if you are not part of that, if you are not sitting at that table, you cannot 
make decisions. And as someone who's always advocated for certain things in the creative field and other fields, like in the social economic field, because that's where I'm 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 at. Mm. I've noticed because you always see that glass ceiling because certain conversations are beyond that. Because mm-hmm. the mobile is not enough to only be cast and be known and to advocate for something that's going to benefit people. Mm-hmm. You need to have a certain level of influence and power. Mm-hmm. But Zona unfortunately only recognize money and power. They mm-hmm. don't respond to the ideal, what what the right thing is. Mm-hmm. It's ingrained within us whether you know, we cheer lead moto when I lead the resource level power. Mm-hmm. But we do not cheer lead. If I'm a genius and I come with the best concepts, it has no value yeah. in general. Yeah. You know, we've not learned to just overlook home and listen to people's ideas. Mm-hmm. And that's why I think, like, but we need to be more politically conscious, more politically aware. Uh, we need to socialize people more into politics because I think it will change a lot of things, including their lives. You you went back to finish your, your PA, uh, again, public administration and political sciences yeah, degree. Yeah. Was this because you have intentions of being in politics? Because, like you say, we can't affect any change if we are not on the table. Even when I got my degree at political science, I had no intentions of doing party politics. Yeah. I wanted to stay away from it. I wanted to stay... Mokoko. I want to, no, no, no. No, party <laughs> politics in terms of active... Okay, maybe yeah. that's the word is active politics. Yeah. I never wanted to go to parliament and do all of those things, get into the structures. I felt like I could still influence change as an activist that I want. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like it would have, uh, in, in, in paper, in theory, you'd have, you should have more impact as an independent activist. Because yeah. you're not associated, so you can talk to more and more. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but in practice, if you don't have that political support or backing, it becomes really, really hard. Not impossible, but yeah. it becomes really, really hard. Because we're able to have an arts council, we're able to change mindsets about being able to fill a high capacity venue with that two, three other artists did it after that. Yeah. You understand? Or yeah. almost did it. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't there. <laughs> but That's been trying though. It's a fiction thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's no pushback. Yeah. You understand? So politics is every decision, is core decision. What people don't understand is the food you eat one on one. Whether you buy it or you get it from a halal home, but the education system your child gets is all these are all political decisions yeah. that impact your life. Because politics will impact you whether you are interested or not. Mm. Your will always be interested in you. And a lot of people in the political sphere have benefited from people being passive about politics mm. or being, um, what's the English word? Treating politics like a team sport. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. People who are activists in the political landscape. But la politique at Manchester, le Chelsea, le le Rome. Mm, they they get excited about it's it. It's about winning. It's yeah. about winning by all means. And yeah. even when they choose players, they don't choose players based on ideas. They choose players based on what came on a lemma, they came on an influence, came on eating, came on eating. You understand? Yeah. So that mindset for me, I got into politics to try and change that mindset. Yeah. And I've acknowledged the fact that it's going to take longer than I thought, yeah. but it's possible. Yeah. Because I, for me. But yeah. I'm okay, no, but what are the core priorities? Yeah. Policy level, the policy about the push yeah. I came to unemployment, I came to health care, and I came to our youth. What yeah. is the core of that message? You know, people don't know that. Yeah. I swear, there's a few people that know that. Yeah. And it's going to a point that it's going to talk about that even the politicians don't have a mandate. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. All they have to do is buy Matoho, do Sunday soccer, yeah. and um, drive a nice car and yeah. be influential. And that's what our politics is. And mm. we can't blame the politicians. It's everyone's fault. But when when you then decide, okay, cool, because you then stop, I get a little bit with the music because you were, you were actively, you know, you, I was trying to get out, yeah, 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 yeah. only in your activist stage of your life. How then do you choose a party? Um, I'm a, within the political sphere, I'm a progressive Democrat. Okay. I'm a progressive, I, I, I'm all about progressive ideas and moving people forward in a democratic way. And um, of all the parties, I'm very skeptical of the BDP yeah. because I like the BDP. Okay. And this is why I like the BDP. It's very mature structure-wise. Yeah. Its corporate structures are more established than any other party. Yeah. That's the 
core strength of the BDP compared to other parties. Uh, other parties are there, but coalition, not meaning not saying we don't lose people within the BDP. But yeah. I feel like the, the sellers are thing, even though they could improve the wide the elite branch have an establishment. And I think obviously a level of indoctrination because could be more family BDP. BDP. Yeah. So for me, moving away from the BDP to go in to do to to do what I want, mm. I felt like I could stay in the BDP and still do the things I wanna do. Okay. Change mindsets. I wanna I feel like party activists should be actively active in the economy. Mm. You know, I hate the fact that we have party activists who are unemployed or who's never accessed government uh, assistance hey. and government funding and resources. Yeah. You understand? So it's ironic to put on a moon. And it's not only a BDP thing. Mm. It's across the board. Most party activists, one about think one about house to house, one about building to get no cop and some bad. Majority of those people, unfortunately, are unemployed and have never accessed. I just realized, wait. and have never accessed home. So, with what does this create? This unemployment, it's it says for the how to what a remel award can I got a remel a paramente, but who are expecting people who are going to uplift them financially. They're not looking at ideas. They're not looking for this person who ta uklo kung kesa kung saba na le ba na ba na kaba ka mo 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 lu huming uklo tisa mele mo uklo tisa di tuto zidi buto ka uklo taka di idi di uklo kudisa kaulo an na mo kuyot. And for him, uchwa vige tala today. Yeah. Utaka hoja today. You understand? Yeah. So how taka kumbu? How to wumu pecha kuloi bola kuwa sambu asa soka boko mo kuyot no. You are the person they feel like yeah. E. But when you come back ideas, because for me, as soon as I, I was active, I noticed that it's not only a BDP, but, but it exists within the BDP. Mm. That's something we need to actively work to to change and get these people. Because mm. you understand? Yeah. Maybe you see that votes are bought. Mm. You understand? And that's why we keep getting the wrong people in uh, positions of power. And another reason we get some people are asking me what I'm like. Yes, you get to move to a digital age, and yeah, now some are doing different. Why politics? I'm yeah. like, but that's the problem we have with politics. Yeah. Because you guys will discourage people and say, "Go about all about the politics. You want to buy land, go." People will tell you, "No, no." Yeah, I'm only asking about what you're talking about politics. The people are talking about. And about politics, I'm I'm with Tia. Over about that, you want to buy a shot? Yeah. You know, and yeah. I don't mean I'm not. I'm just generalizing, but not meaning that we're the ones. You understand? Yes, sir. So you're going to find that politics attracts people who are unscrupulous, mm. people who are willing to buy, people who are, people who don't care. Yeah. And people who are just career-wise. Now, it's about politics. I'm a bit. The politics, the little thing, who just say one. The little politics, the little thing, how about who just say? <laughs> That's understand? all of them. <laughs> no, no, no. Because I feel like politiki is both uh, should be both passion and a career. Yeah. You should want to get something out of it. You should want to grow. Want to see yourself become a councillor, a parliament. But doesn't that go and against civil service? Eh? Doesn't that idea of enriching no, not yourself or maybe enriching no, no, your no, career? No, no, ambition. not enriching. What, what you, you can do it without being a corrupt person. Eh. You can grow yourself and be known within political circle as someone who how what they will how how we're gonna get actual developments. If he makes promises, he communicates. If they don't come to fruition, mm. he comes back to us and we, he maps up a way. Eh. And you be, you become a career politician based on that. Eh. So you wanna do that. You wanna be. I trust someone who wants to do that and at the same time wants to deliver for Batu. Because yeah. those things are not mutually exclusive. But yeah. You understand? Yeah. For me, I don't trust that person. Okay, no. 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 Okay, yeah. That's going on a shortcut, and those are the people who are successful, unfortunately, in politics. You didn't yeah. know this when you walked in? No, 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 you know this, but this is another thing you don't know. Mm. There's a lot of people in political party structures who are legit, oh, yeah. who want to see the country move forward, who have the same ideas in, as us, yeah. but unfortunately, they don't have the support. And can't tell about go, more, 
than normal yeah, yeah, because if and you I'm stand not tra- out and, and, and believe me I'm not, and this is not a new to, to the BDP it's yeah. everywhere that's why you see people leaving parties opposition your ruling party or political party politics has been turned into this thing you know what I mean yeah. if you're not unscrupulous and willing to cut corners you cannot make it in and even how it's a politics you are discouraged and as even but our top level one will say that was hey oh in a game one I'm thinking I'll soft down as another thing yeah but motor had at us who have some had more one at the same time so I don't know if I'm making sense I, you do mm. but I'm also trying to ask on every time I think politics I just think money um mm. or you're gonna be spending money you know um do you have to get a funder do you have to have someone who's and and what do you tell them they're going to get on the back end because we had Ray and Danny Boko here and I was asking him yo when people give you dough for sure they expect something back so mm. how do you discern between the right people to get dough from and because not all money is good money if you understand how terrible money is for politics you need to look at the american system eh hey. uh, where like if if you on the less book why in the states, it could mean the end of your financial future. You can yeah. literally lose everything because you spend two days in a hospital. Mm. You know, more than one one bula go go go. It's a thousand bucks in the states. Mm. The prison system is private. Because the money in politics influ- is such a terrible thing that we want to stay away from it mm. in this country. But unfortunately, it's a reality. Because mm. you understand. Um, and unfortunately, money in politics, like I was saying, it starts from fronted activists. Yeah. You understand? And yeah. it, it's it's a norm, and we don't know any other different way. But it's a it's a terrible thing. You understand? And but it's possible to find like minded people who might find and help because daughter without money in politics, it's really, really hard. You're the one who should vet for yourself pretty yeah. much yeah. for yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I'm a good example of that. Mm. I Nigali Michael Lahua I'm at parliamentary level. This year? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like ex- hey, no, no. I decided. I'd made do? up my mind. I decided I'd... People more party nearby to get here, man. No, so I'll leave the video. I don't want to name people. No, so I don't want to name people. No, so I don't want to name underground smear campaign and then see bank on your way. But this is what's the difference with me. Um, As soon as people know what the way I'm, I'm going to go back and activists and as before what i did is i i got engaged politically and i would ask questions i want to find out what this is how it works no you know talk about this is what you need to do and i i took my time and just learned and i just felt like the perception that's there within mm. the level with the within the activist class of the party it's not real life. It's not reality. Mm. I honestly feel like at that point, you don't need to spend the money that... I actually wrote a, a document. I'll post it. Yeah. I'll share it with you. I wrote a document about that. Um, you don't need to spend money initially. Mm. But this is how people spend money. They put together a team. Um, team is house to house. Mm. I'll tell you why I get house to house. And by, they get names. They get names. So you have to make sure you take care of the upkeep, meet the gas, do oh lord, uh, tie, meet the lunch. Mm. You know, it's not everyone. I'm, yeah. I, I hope I don't get at, I don't no, get no, suspended no. for, for, <laughs> for, for telling somebody. the truth. But <laughs> hey, so people have to. So it's a cost for mutawatan yeah. kwaem. That's the first cost. Um, then you are advised to be active, to be seen, and to the b- biggest way to be seen is to do the. To match and to donate and all those things. Yeah. You know, and, and, social football. and I'm not against donating and being seen to donate. I feel like it's it inspires other people to to do the same. How much has to get that large? I understand, mm. but as as a reason to go to I feel like yeah. yeah. So people spend money on those things. So they'll, they'll buy merchandise. Baba, I pay someone about one. The team just keeps growing, and it's it gives you an advantage because obviously I saw go to go. But one thing I noticed and to investigate, I found out they don't even go to these people. They'll take they'll take a voters role from the previous election. So there's that culture. And I found out from because what people don't understand is well, blessed as a country where 
whether um, UDC, um, BCP, um, BDP, we all get along. We all hang mm. out with our friends. You, know, yeah. you understand? Yeah. So people will tell you, so when I have this conversation, people will tell me, well, now, not to think of it, we do the same thing, <laughs> and then, and this is how people who, that's why people with money in Zimbabwe talk, yeah, yeah, yeah. especially primary elections. Let the pull eh, eh, ko, eh. So now, the first people I'm talking I made it clear all the guys, nah, I'm mm. That's the first thing. Yeah. If you want to move with me, it should just, it should be about the vision. Yeah. Eh, how about that? Unfortunately, I can, I can't mark. Yeah. Eh, yeah. Them, but I don't believe in that. You understand? Because yeah. for me, it's weird. I, I, then we brought out colleagues and got thing. It's such a weird thing for me to do. I can imagine. Eh, so I don't, I do, I, I, don't, I, I feel like I'm it's trying to like, imagine you sitting there plotting and. With bad, it's, you not you. it's not you. Hey, so I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Do you understand? <laughs> but I'm willing to do campaigns. I told them, listen, as soon as Rubulera, as soon as Rubulera, when I leave yeah. the form, I'll be doing, I'll do, I'll start doing, because can I get back around that foundation? Yeah. I'll do community fairs. I'll yeah. do events where they, they'll bring the community together. The community will get to know each other. Like, imagine a trade fair, but they're a community. Yeah. And the store, like, yeah. how long this person sells dogs, they sell, so you get to know each other as a community. Because no, I can't get to get to a high car, but I can't get to a high car. You understand? Oh, this person will yeah. design, this person yeah. will at least do more neighborhood. You understand? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So that was the idea, something that can benefit the whole entire community. Yeah. So I wanted to do the kind of those kind of projects. I wanted to do um, empowerment workshops for activists, yeah. where we can t- teach them how to be uh, political activists, mm. give them the skill sets. Well, this is how you do political activism. Yeah, you understand without yeah. do stuff home where that can actually make sure that our activism activist class kind of activists do you talk? You understand? Mm. Yeah, I feel like our activist study part parting along should be taken care of. Yeah, we should make sure that they are employed. Not through corrupt means, but mm, yeah. we should make sure that they're employed. We make sure that they access the chairman. We should yeah. have a support system for the people that actually push the party and do house to house. Because on the face of the party, I don't figure ahead, but bubble talk. So I feel like I want to do that for the party. I want to change the mindset. The whole yeah, play the home piano. What's the English? Uh, to teach a man how to how to fish. Uh, how to fish. Yeah. I want to teach them how to fish so they can they can get that own instead of being fed. But I'm trying to figure out, does that mean you were naive walking in? Did someone convince you to walk in and then I was it just blew up in your face? Or, ah, no, 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 I was expecting it. I was, mm. But it was worse than I thought. I was expecting it. I decided to walk in because I, I, I remember one person was trying to convince me who I'm at the top. I told them about the things I don't like about the top. It was like, ah, but that's the reason you should be. <laughs> but since you don't like that, yeah. and that's my message to people who are not young, you know, are you aware that they say BDP sell my neighborhood in Yarrow. Are you aware that you can join it and make sure that the kind of people that you feel are right become leaders of that cell? And as part of that cell, Okwana will top a leadership with Awadi, then Yabranche, then mm-hmm. Arijina Gabs, and make sure that we get you get the right people. Go basically the party, it's us, Lebe or Sabatu Baba Baba active more. Yeah. So as long as other people but you know they want to bring change, stay away from politics. Mm-hmm. And Map and Rovet was an Amap and Zola Hell. Like I was saying, I've met so many people in the BDP who have similar ideas and who are probably more progressive than I am. Yeah. You know, who are frustrated, who want to see change, who want to see us. The perception I BDP because uh, the perception I keep telling people well, kind of were looked at as a party that does not care about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and people think how BDP or just saying one other mark. You understand? I'm still as I've been broke since twi- <laughs> I've been broke since 2016. I don't want to lie been to you. Saying, hey. Hey, you understand? Yeah. And and in politics, unfortunately, if you are ambitious and you want to get things done, you're gonna to have to spend money. Mm-hmm. If but the workshop idea activists are selling and so at home, I can't go to the party and tell them give me money. Mm. I need to figure it out. I need but that's what people it. think. Hey. That's what people think. Or you can just walk into the building and get some dough and then go do your exercise. No, 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 no. An asset to the... And, uh, party mm. Mokhatu. BDP is perfect in every sense. Yeah. Hey, we have some imperfect people within the structures. Yeah. And that's our fault. You understand? Yeah. We have some really, really good people, some very, very smart people. Yeah. So the institution becomes what you make it. Mm. You understand? So the institution, you cannot... Cotton, you find how much care can you find money for the church? You don't expect the church to give you money. Yeah. It's like any other institution. You need to come there not to only contribute ideas, but contribute ways of making sure whether it's well funded and it does the things that it needs to do. No if doubt. you're talking about whether we need to take care of our activists, you need to be part of the 
reason the party has enough resources to take care of them. Don't you understand? Instead of people coming in, blah, 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 like, blah, 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 and leading to people being pissed off at incumbents because how 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 can I top you a bleed the air? You understand? Yeah. And that's why every that's why every incumbent is not liked. Mm. Now, it's not because they did not deliver, but it's because but when about by about sixty by eighty by about some he just stopped. Yeah, but feel like I was no ah. Yeah. yeah. You know, yes, eh, yes, someone was came to me. Ali, 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 Ali. But I want to pass on because but I guess we are all connected together. We are not going to get it. You understand? Because it stopped. But when I stop that mentality, you understand? Mm. We want to create independent minds. People who yeah. Because wants to see good for the country. Yeah. Okay, obviously there are those narcissists, but but just the two of us we want good healthcare, good education, we want high low unemployment, high employment. We want all those good things. We want to see you as an artist the economy is so big that it can support you to the point that you can become an intentional act. Yeah. You understand? So, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out because we saw a, a, a bunch of you, um, people in the entertainment industry, um, don't you feel, do, do you feel that now uh, entertainment and the creative sector is being taken seriously or is this just another way of just you know, getting another five years and ignoring us for all of it again. Because sometimes I'm always trying to figure out when or you know, these photo opportunities are ah, highly received. It's 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 it, it could be perceived in both ways. You know the thing that gave me um I've always been a BDP member. Yeah. Yeah. Ne- not active. Make it a nap. Hey, no no no. Let me I I'm I'm getting mm. to that. Yeah. Um the only reason people knew I was an active BDP member was when I was Added to the subcommittee media yeah, sports and creative arts. I remember, yeah. yeah. So for me, I saw this. Oh, we actually, you know what happens? Yep. This is the hierarchy of the BDP. You have the central committee again, obviously led by the president and the chairperson, who's mm-hmm. the vice president. Central committee is like the main body. Yeah. Do you know what falls under the central committee? Subcommittees. Subcommittees. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so within the structure of the BDP. Why even higher than the parliament and my councillor? Yeah. Why in subcommittees? And to have a subcommittee as in creative acts, for me, it gave me so much. Oh, so finally, we have some people, we have a subcommittee that can actually represent the creative arts. So when they, and the thing that I liked more than anything was um, the people who were responsible for me being part of the subcommittee, um, the Secretary General, mm. he asked me something that gave me like a lot of hope. Yeah. He asked me, well, I'm not a membership. Because he put me before he even knew yeah. I was, I had membership or part. Yeah. So, because for him, he was like, no, he looked at my profile. He was like, nah, he didn't know much about me, but he saw my profile. But I'm also an artist. Yeah. But I also studied political, I'm a political scientist. He was like, yeah. I was like, oh, so yeah. it's, it was not based on the fact that MobiDP. He was like, no, it was not based on the fact that MobiDP. Yeah. It was based on the fact that um, that's why we had another person turn us down. Yeah. Other than us, MobiDP. Okay. Yeah, you understand? Okay. Why, why do you want to turn us what was her name? Um, Yavne FM. Who? What the man? Ah, I can't believe I forgot her name. Presenter? Yeah, I think she did sports, if I'm not mistaken. Um, um, LB. Not LB. She's not there now. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, she was part of the sports and creatives. Anyway, she was part of the homo, and she said she couldn't do it. Yeah. And she was saying, no, that's why she couldn't do it. Probably maybe as a movie DP. Yeah, as a movie yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. she was like, but Lenny was like, I'm one of the members. like saying whether even if Ngabo was a member of the BDP, eventually maybe there will be an expe- expectation yeah. if I take it. But it was like, no, I've always been a member. Like, like TV, like, whatever, as, you understand? Yeah. So I've, uh, my theory is this: if you love the BDP, you have to be able. To, you have to be critical of the BDP. Yeah. You should not be in the political space and not be critical of your political party. No doubt. Yeah. Yo, th- thank you for being honest with us because we really just wanted to understand what, how this stuff works. Because sometimes I don't like when artists and popular people are used as figureheads for 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 for, for yeah. other reasons you know and then we're forgotten for the next couple of years so at least if that subcommittee does do some change yeah, we, we, we we hope so and and or oh, because i'm no longer part of the subcommittee i had to yeah. leave oh you had to leave the subcommittee yeah, yeah, yeah. but i just like yeah. 
Just what we really, what, what made you not stand? Um, like, 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 like I said, I couldn't afford to wear. A month. You need to talk ten thousand to wear. A month. No, no, just cutting a lean. Eh. Eh. Why? Um. <laughs> that's a now you. Uh, I know, how long do you like, have? <laughs> let me not go down that eh. rabbit hole. But like, eh. okay. So what are you king? Are you considering in the next five years? You can. Um. One thing I know is um. I'm a BDP. Me- I'm an active BDP BDP member. Hmm. I still wanna do. I still wanna be influenced the um, activist uh, hmm. class of the party. I still feel like I wanna be part of the mechanism that changes how it works. I still wanna be a very very active member of the party and impact the changes that I've been talking about awesome. with, 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 within the party and and yeah. So I'm gonna be very active. I'm gonna do. One of the things I was going to do for my campaign, I'm mm. still going to do them. Awesome stuff. Literally, yeah. Do you think V is going to win? Um, this is another thing about politics. Né? Politics is like it's like soccer. Because yeah. there's only two outcomes. Yeah. And with these two outcomes, <laughs> it's not an analyst. So it's one of those things that it's either or. So people tend to be overconfident. Let me tell you, the people that say V can win, Always ask them why. <laughs> and the people yeah. that say V can win, always ask them why. You'll find out why. So he can win. Mm. Anyone can win in politics. Yeah. If if he, if I am, he's a very well known figure. Yeah. So he doesn't have that hurdle to hurdle ya ho popularity. Because there's some people are so passive within politics, but they but talk about familiarity. Like I was mm. telling you that some people with Baba Topin and Rafa or Rafa five mm-hmm. cannot tell you the person they voted for or the way he made saying or what they. The principle. You, yeah. un- you understand. Yeah. And if it was all fair play, Ross Nakhani said the team, Milo Romo, you know, uh, he stands a really, he stands it's a fifty percent chance. I really so think it's only fifty. Eh? I think he's going to win. Eh. But hey. But I, but it, it, at the same time, you need to know that there are other things in play. When I don't know how we should do over to you, so when I over to you, or when I want to move thing, or when I want to move thing, then Abba we need to play more. Abba so we need national. Or when I want to move Abba, because what I'm saying is now I'm. I I think I've studied politics to a point that I know that I know that it's almost impossible to say this person is going to win or lose yeah. unless there's some factors that I cannot ignore. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. 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 Because awesome uh, especially knowing Botswana, Botswana, if it was a policy thing, we are not going to compare the policies. I only whoever I'm angry, and then I'll give you an analysis based on that. Yeah. But we don't have that, and we don't even do that in Botswana. Some stuff. Yeah. Maybe we organize the debate. Eh? Yeah, no, what about yeah. the debate? But I don't know how many people would show up because these guys sometimes, but secretive blind the blindness. Mm-hmm. Like people are afraid of being put on blast or something. But that's what we need. We need to know who our representatives are. Yeah. We need to know what they represent and what they stand for. Because it's impossible. Because it's not even only about good ideas. It's about Jimina. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes a political decision is more important than a financial award. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And vice versa. You need to a person who can navigate those two areas where they know what they know. The calculus here, as much as we might h- take a loss here, mm-hmm. but the social benefit so outweighs outweighs the financial so much that it's in the long term. Yeah. That's why Momo Lao Hang Rote uh how we be allowed to well but sometimes a calculation can be made no but two well do would have be have such a s- bad social uh, impact on them that it's better maybe or something like that. Yeah. So politics is the hardest thing on the planet. And it needs someone who has an open mind, who's always going to consult and navigate it to come up with the best possible decision they can come up with. And it's never going to be a perfect decision. Yeah. Oh, but while blind, about perfect, they don't belong in politics. But danger is blind. <laughs> you know, you're, you know you're, you're, yeah. some, your Donald Trump mentality mm. is really scary. Yeah. But those are the people that I followed the most. Yeah, that's And especially, I'm going to talk about the storm, man. Yeah. I'm going to blind, all confident, all super. You understand? Yeah. We vote yeah. based on that, but unfortunately, that will never work for us. Yeah. yeah. I think we're going to, we're going to wrap it up, Riyisako, uh, because we're going to bring you back because mm-hmm. you, you told me in the, when, when, when we linked up earlier, where you're trying to get back into the music while you are in this hiatus, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Because you left the music, you always leave the music and go do mm-hmm. other things. 
Yet here you come back again. Yeah. What are we expecting? What cast are we getting? Are we gonna get some politically conscious raps? Are we? <laughs> what are we talking about? It's it's, it's interesting that you asked that because people were when people found out that I was in the social economic space and doing projects and yeah. I was like a motivational speaker because I don't I don't shoot and post that part of my life. Yeah. When people always find out that I do that aspect of things. They always ask me, well, but it doesn't match your music, you yeah, know. Yeah. From Banduga to <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, my this is what my belief is. Yeah. I I create a, a, I create like pop culture is really good at cre- giving you a platform. Yeah. But it's about what you do with that platform. Mm. So I, I want to have a, as big a platform as I possibly can, yeah. so that I can impact more social change. Yeah. So more people can listen to what I have to say. It has a bigger impact. Do you understand? Yeah. If I'm this politically conscious and I only list, and it's only the demographic that listens to me, you yeah. impact them. You understand? Yeah. But if I have a catchy song in the room, then I come and stand in front of young people and give them like real consciousness and they're more likely to be engaged and listen to the things that I, I put out. Yeah. So this is what I hope happens this year. I'm trying to get my money up. Yeah. I'm trying to do everything that I'm good at, which means resurrecting to totally the, the people such as foundation. Eh? Mm-hmm. Um, getting back into promoting. Yeah. I'm getting back into, I'm actually traveling this home to do training for my, for teachers. We're doing um, a change management uh, thing okay. So we'll be training them on change management. The teachers, um, I think headmasters, senior staff, and teachers. Um, <laughs> 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 so, so I'm getting back into that space here yeah, yeah, of training and motivational speaking and life coaching. Yeah. And at the same time, I'm because I'm trying to do everything I'm good at mm, yeah. and finding a way to. Uh, make it work at the same time because as you said when I started doing a lot of Cast Foundation stuff I stopped mm. releasing music yeah. for a long time I was focusing on doing so I want to find out if I can and I believe I can because yeah. I'm really bad at delegating because I feel like people don't understand my ideas yeah. so I do everything yeah. myself so this time around I want to get like a music manager to manage the project they start with an EP and an album yeah. get someone to help me with Cast Foundation get someone to help me with Dota, motivational speaking and Homo, even though it's under Homo Foundation get yeah. someone to help me with the promotions and events and artist management type thing Yeah, yeah I want to just do as much as I can around that space. Because you, now you know everything that there is to know about yeah. it. Now it's time to execute. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And hopefully, I want to write a book, dude. I want to publish something. Yeah. yeah. What um, do you want to talk about? Um, I want to do something that's on the... That's like... Uh, that will reflect me. Yeah. A little bit of everything. That will talk politics, music... Mm. Uh, behavior change management, all those aspects. Something, but something more motivational. Yeah. Something that can you can read and feel like gives you certain life skills. Aspirational. Yeah, yeah, so, no, yeah. like actual actionable life skills mm. from the things I've learned. You understand? Yeah. You know, financial management, that thing. When I and I speak financial management because I mm. there was a time that I had money in my account and it was just a passive thing. Mm. So how chore now quite all <laughs> financial management they will talk up like yeah, you know? so yeah. I want to go through the journey and document the journey yeah, and you know teach people about the things that I know about politics teach people about the things that I know about the industry yeah. and music and all those things crazy yeah every single time people see these interviews they are like we sort of about Tali about about Tali no every single time it's like no, I, no. I want I always wonder if like people think we're like rappers are just dumb what about because like you, Zeus, you guys like the most pacing and insisting one. I can't even imagine it. But because you guys know it so well, it's like such a, a niche, and I think it threatens people sometimes. Honorary, hey, you are coming with all of this popularity, and now you want to take my shit. <laughs> so okay, tell like, honorary, like, don't you feel like that intimidates people, especially because you know confidence popularity and now you know what you're talking about because i th- i think sometimes it intimidates people no, no, and they, they keep you far away or i yo yo to papa no no it does cuz people come with a preconceived notion of who you are yeah how to that meeting and it's ironic when you know what you're talking about you'd think what well, they'd give people comfort well, oh homo he actually okay. studied hey. the thing but you'd hear after that hey no rate mona hey rate no rate no rate no trauma hey rate no rate hey mona mona takolo mo lati si te blind you understand people it's, i don't know what that is about you know yeah. instead of celebrating it it's for, for people but feel a lot hey 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no. Now that's why I'm always loud. Like, I'm I'm like, someone mm. asked me, like, who wrote this proposal for you? I mean, come on. <laughs> no, but we're all about tomorrow, yeah. man. So, but we really, really appreciate you coming through here. Um, How is it raising uh, uh, a teenager who knows a little about hip hop? What are you going to do something that he might like? I'm, I think for me is out for the new project I want to do. Yeah, yeah I want to do something he might like, and I want to do something with him too. He's got some bars. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, I just yeah, found yeah, out yeah, 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 out of yeah, the blue yeah. some years back when he makes beats because I was listening to a beat. <laughs> what? I, I had no idea. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, so I'm listening to Oof. a beat and like. He's like, I'm he's like, ah, big deal. Yeah. It's like, who, who did that beat? I'm like, no, some cat. He sent it to me. He's like, ah, <laughs> let, me, let me send you something. <laughs> Ooh. I get WhatsApp. It's like, who did this? He's like, no, that's me. It's like, no, hey. bring that beat. Let's rap yeah. that thing. Ah, I get I should, I think yeah. one industry. Yeah. Hey. But, but yeah, but that's it's, dope, it's, 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 hey, when I say teenager, it's, it's not for the faint hearted. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not because he, he's discovering himself and, mm. but happy is easier because, He's yeah. like he's me. Yeah. Like I know his impulses and I keep telling you. I keep telling you what I know what you're doing. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. I know what you're doing. And when I advise you, when I tell you to study this way, I know how it works. You yeah. understand? And I know why you don't study and why you are not interested. Because I don't know if I'm self-diagnosing. I'm dyslexia. I don't know. I'm one of those people that speak really well. Yeah. But I don't read out really well yeah. yeah. and I've noticed he does that I'm like dude so take my advice yeah. I'm being where you are but oh he, he tries to cover it up by doing and, that and, yeah. and do his own stuff and things that you know yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell him oh, this is what you did and then like, no I'm you yeah. I know what you are up to you understand yeah. but it's interesting yeah. but it keeps you young too at the same yeah. time because I know say. all the latest music I know all the latest trends yeah, yeah you understand so yeah. crazy yeah. Hey, my my dog it's, it's like I was telling someone that I feel like I was 19 then all of a sudden I'm 40 hey. like it, it's it's it, it's weird and to be such we're in such an industry which is such it's ageist mm. hip hop is such an ageist industry they like reminding you ah, you're 40 yeah. Nah, but nah, but nah. what people don't understand is it's, your mind does not really change significantly in terms yeah. of who you are. You might get more knowledge and more experiences, but yeah. you're still the same person the same who's person. there. You understand? Yeah. That's why you can get on a beat and cook that you understand. Yeah. Yeah. And you have that advantage of you understand certain things they don't understand about beat, the higher man thing and certain aspects. You understand? I always tell yeah. my girl I always tell yeah. my girl I'm going to go to the 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 No, you need to you need to learn them. <laughs> You need to learn them when you get on a beat, but All oh, the time. Eh, eh. can't wait to hear the project that comes through, and um, we'll definitely have a part two. Yeah, because the thing, like, there's a lot is, we didn't talk about. There's a lot we didn't talk about. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, because for the sake of time, so people can actually watch it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I think we're gonna have to shut it down. We're gonna look edit the halele halele on our future. How are you doing, see? But I'm not a raw like that. Yeah, we don't oh, play those games. No, other people have called in so that the, we don't like giving people editorial mm -hmm. uh, control of our show. But the ones that we have, it's very few, huh? Where someone says that they want something cut out. But yo, if you feel. But, but you guys dump it just like this. It's going to be this no, long. No, what? what hey, it's going to be a little this long. Why we are young? Hey, everything is like Look how you're going to get the. No, you're going to for who? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay. hey. So, but we really, really appreciate you uh, for giving us your time and um, all that you've done for the BW um, entertainment industry. I don't know if the 100% music thing will ever happen because we have to wait another five years. No, but I'll be active. I'll be, mm. I'll be active and I'm hoping to... Because you got that ear, dog. Yeah, I'm hoping to be influential within those circles. Yeah. You understand? Um, I'm never going to stop. You, yeah. Like for me... I've noticed I accept the fact that you know, the things that I'm passionate about, I'm passionate about, it's not like a choice. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. It's, it's, it's not like I can stop myself from doing them, so I might as well do them properly. Definitely. Yeah. Thank uh, you for having me, man. Thank you for coming through, Papa. Thank yeah, you so, like, so you, much. You don't understand the amount of pride that I have. Yeah, no. uh, all of you guys, <laughs> funny enough, like for me, like yeah. for me, like I knew you guys when you were kids, so it's yeah. wild for me. I can only see, imagine what we're seeing yeah. that version and seeing this version. No, no, version. It's, 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 it's wild because you know <laughs> Because yeah. in your heart's heart, you know that you always knew. No doubt. Uh, you know that you always knew, but to see it come to fruition and yeah. Can the only thing are. I'm mad at is 
the guys who grew up, the guys that grew up together, all of us, yeah. I'm only mad at the fact that we never did something together. Nice. We never left something. Something solid. Imagine, eh. imagine, but maybe it happens a personality thing. Maybe it, never, maybe it was a blessing. It never happened, but I feel like we could have done something crazy yeah. as a collective, as people who grew up together, and we can say, no, we have this event together. It was something. Like something Get your can, music manager to put it down. Them niggas are going to watch this thing. We're going mm. to do it. Let's rock. Oh, and by the way, I don't have a music manager yet. All the people that I say I want to put together, yeah. I don't have them. So if you feel like you can be a fit yeah. to work with the kind of personality that I'm at, yeah. and you, you are hardworking, and uh, you have a car, I don't have a car. <laughs> Come pick me up. Yeah, hit me up. Yeah. So I guess what I would you they'll hit you up on the socials. On the socials, yeah. King, if, which one do you use the, the most? The one I'm, that I'm, I'm mostly at Cast. Go, 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 go. Facebook and yeah. the number that's there is my own personal number. I don't have a manager at the moment, so keep with seven one two one seven six ten. No doubt, seven one two one seven six one zero. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our show. Thank you so so much for hanging out with us. Thank you, Cast, for being in Thank the house. For me. We'll definitely see you guys next week, Wednesday at three p.m. And uh, yeah, we'll have another brilliant guest hanging out with us from Leo's Inn right here, Kako Middle Star, Booty Cast. We out, boys. Different identities. Podcast with BSCA.